What are you doing up there, Atari? Welcome <laughs> to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Tuesday. Hello. This is where you get the newest games, <laughs> the best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. Come here, Atari. And the best source for the Atari. Yay! Yay, but he was climbing he was... up over there, which yeah. is very unusual for him. He saw something. There's a bug in here, I oh, think. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's what we need. Uh, she made it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Were you talking shit about me before I got here? <laughs> no, I had to add two minutes oh, to the timer. Two minutes is okay. It's not too bad. Yes. Yeah. I'm always oh. rushing in from work. He's so. in the he's in the cat cam a little bit. Is he? He's covered up by some names, yeah. but he's in the cat cam. Is he good? Yeah. He was just here a second ago. We had both the black and white pixel cat so and Atari, and then always like seconds before you flip over, they run out of the room. There he is. Turn off the names there for a second. There he is. Oh. Very cute. Yeah, he's being very flat. It's very warm here today. Oh, it's warm. It's like 32 degrees well, Celsius outside. It says 25 in here, so it's Well, a when bit I left cooler. work, my car said 32, so. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Uh, for our American friends, it's hot. It's hot. Hot, <laughs> hot for here, hot anyway. For, hot for Canada. Yeah, hot for Vancouver. <laughs> I did so, make it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, so we have five games today. Mm. Um, none of them like long, so that's why I scheduled five of them. I love lots of little games. Um, and we have a world exclusive debut of a game. Mm -hmm. um, but first off, we're going to be playing Rally Racer, an unboxing Rally Racer. This is from Brazil. So we might have some Portuguese typing in the chat that I won't understand. And most of, the, most of the people won't understand, but <laughs> some will. Um, and, yes, you can see. Nice. Full of cat hair. Very, well, yeah, and it's un unavoidable. Rally right? Racer. Oh, cute. Because I sent along this t-shirt. I did so the nice. unboxing. Yeah. Partial unboxing last episode. Okay, yeah. Um, so I scheduled the game for this episode because I sent the game and a shirt. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it has really, really great packaging. We'll go mm -hmm. through the packaging uh, as we get into the game. Um, we're also going to be playing Little Edge 1 in Greece. That's the whole name of the game. That's the world debut. What is it? The Little Edge 1 in Greece. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. We'll see if it makes sense <laughs> as we get Probably. into it. Um, so oh, that's a brand one. new game. Yeah. Uh, we have the world debut of it. Uh, Raster Fandung by Simon Quernhorst. Um, very strange name for a game. We'll see if that makes sense okay. either. Uh, Raster. Okay. Raster Fang Dung. Uh, and Breakanoid by nice. Mr. SQL. Uh, it's from 2012. The other, last one was 2006. And we're going to be um, challenge our, challenging ourselves to boxing. Okay. 1980s Activision game. Activision boxing. That never had a patch, but it now does have a oh, patch. Oh, really? So this is going to be a homebrew patch challenge. Because somebody made a new patch for okay. a game that never had a patch. Okay. Yep. Oh, there you go. 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which doesn't seem like a lot. Well, 25 isn't that hot. Right. 25 is fine. Yeah. 25 is... It, it, it's 25.5 in here. Yeah. It feels warmer than that. I think the lights... It'll heat it up a Yeah. Bit. It's warmer than 25. Uh, so I want to thank all our Twitch subscribers. You can see down the side there of Tanya. Uh, <laughs> Alna for Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Cold Heat 007. Yes. Dianoid, Dan, Avc, Drexel, Doctor, Nate, Palm, Seventy Five, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Not It, Johnny, Nitro, Johnny, WC Twenty Three, Jupiter Storm, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco Twenty Six, Under Mark Space, Inc, Metal Atari Nineteen Sixty Nine, MK Smith, Mister Vix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Pack Rat VG, RC Seventy, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet Socrates Zero Six Zero Three, Spartan Five Eight One, Spiceware, S Ramirez Two Thousand Eight, The D Train Thirty Seven, The Washman Eighty Nine, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. And you can support the show, too, and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and click like on all the things. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can know what's coming up and any news and stuff like that. I tried to look up the Grease game and couldn't find anything. Mm. It does not exist except in an email to me and now to you. Mm. Um, so I have a poll question. Uh, related to the Twitch subscribers. Uh, I'm going to put it on the screen right now, if I can find it. There we go. Nice. Start the poll. <laughs> Should I continue to read out the Twitch subscriber list of names? <laughs> and the options are... 1. 
Yes, it's important to highlight the people who support the show. <laughs> Number two, no, it's a little too long to listen to. Get to the games. <laughs> and three, meh, doesn't bother me. Read them if you like. It's all good. Uh, and I will say, if the majority of the people pick two, I will stop reading them. Oh. Um, because then it's bothering everyone. Mm -hmm. And it is very long. But yeah. I, nobody's I like, picking that, so no, it looks like it's here to stay. I, I like that you... That you you read them out. I mean, you at like least it? at least you still have a list that's read outable. Like you know, it's yeah, uh, it's still it's not possible. Quite so long. It's not a half hour long no. <laughs> or anything. So it's not too bad just yet. Yeah. Um. So we'll see how. I that mean, we've all up. seen those YouTube channels where they have they scroll them at oh, the end, and and you're just hundreds, like, oh, you're kidding, right? Like that's so of many. Um, like we've got forty, I think around. It hovers around forty. Yeah, right which now. is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not too bad. Oh, uh, I don't know what that says. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything bad in Portuguese. Um, so we've got some mail. Uh, actually, we're going to start off with the mail I already opened because I didn't know exactly what this was. Um, and it says... ZPH! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Kind of messed up the envelope. Ripped it, but it'll work. Enjoy. Roger? Roger, yes. Roger, you got maybe? It. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Said PH. Nice. Ooh, that's very bright. There we go. Mm. If I can angle it so it's not so bright. There. Um, so this is related to the last game we'll be playing on the show today. Okay. Ooh. These are the homebrew patches. Nice. That we have not shown yet. The first patch is for checkers. Nice. And it's called Checkers Champs. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to play checkers at some point and beat the computer. You beat the computer. Okay. Yeah, that makes I sense. think. I think. Because they haven't really outlined what you need to do to earn this because you can buy them. Mm -hmm. You don't need to earn them. You don't need to send in proof that you won or anything. No. You just buy them. Right? Yeah, very nice. Because they, oh, thank you, Victor M., for following the yeah. show. And the second one, which is more related to today is Activision Knockout Kings. This Yay. is for boxing. Yeah. Now, I played the boxing a little bit just to play with it. Mm. Now, there's two options that can happen with this, and it hasn't been like hasn't been declared what you should do to earn it. Mm -hmm. um, either beat the computer or knock out the computer. Now, it's far from impossible to knock out the computer. Um, but it's fairly easy to beat the computer, so it's probably better to knock it out, but we'll see as we play. Mm. Um, because it hasn't been declared officially, nobody's... No one's actually stated how, how to earn the patch. And who is the one to say that, either? Yeah, that's true. You kind of have to almost set your own yeah. goals. Mm. They also sent along this, uh, gaming community, Roger E. Blair III, Superstars of 2019. Wal Walter Days to the superstars of 2019. So he sent along his own <laughs> playing card. Nice. Yeah. I think it's uh, an ongoing set of nice. playing cards highlighting people in the gaming community. Yeah. And I know Brian Mathern has his own as well. Oh, nice. And he's getting them very, very soon, he said to me. Nice. Um, so that's really cool. Neat. What does that say, actually? We'll read it out when, when yeah. it comes to the patches. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. go we'll into more that. of that. Should have to win by knockout, not time decision. Yeah. That's probably more Makes fair. More sense. Yeah. yeah. S. Ramirez says, I have boxing, didn't get checkers. Uh, Color me ignorant, how does a vote count? You just press one, two, or three. And did I get counted? Eh, if you pressed one, two, or three and pressed enter, then maybe. Uh, we'll get to that after the news and see what the totals are. Uh, I got at least four or five trading cards from Walter, Dan ABC says. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we forgot to read off who the people are in, in the chat today. Oh. Dan ABC, Captain Classic, S. Ramirez 2008, Metal Atari 1969, Phil, Kev Kelly, uh, a bunch of letters, J. L. Garcia X. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, and J. L. Garcia X just followed. Yeah. Thank you for following. Thank you. Armscar Coder, Pack Rat VG, Captain Classic, Bull Paco. Mer Marino Mux, a whole bunch of new names uh -huh. that are vaguely Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Diablo <laughs> Games, C. Uh, Ta Taniki, a whole bunch of new names. It's yeah. wonderful. No, it's wonderful to pull uh, people in. Uh, uh, just to get Splendid uh, Ground Trooper, in there. Sandro Salbi, nice. Leo, Leo Scanti. 
Leo C. Santi. And Leo C. Santi. Yeah. Um, Mr. Fix. Kev Kelly was in Kev there. Kev Kelly. Uh, I think Crown I got Trooper. everyone. Lots of people today. Pack Rat PG, did you get him? I think so. Excellent. Great Defender. Yay. There we go. Got him in. Just barely. Yeah. I just watched his review on Joust for the C64. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. We watched that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um... I just got notified about an hour ago that the R my RGB Atari that uh, Nathan Strum mm, mm -hmm. uh, repaired is in Vancouver and oh. is going to be delivered tomorrow. Yay! And it's really funny. For Friday, then, hopefully. Hopefully Fingers for Friday. Crossed. Fingers crossed. There's a crossed. very good chance for Friday. Okay, good. Um, it's very funny. When I get packages sent from pretty much anywhere except for Canada, mm -hmm. it's like I get notified they've been sent. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to, like, a packaging distribution place near them and then weeks go by nothing yes. nothing nothing then all of a sudden it's in vancouver yeah and there's like five updates mm. it's so crazy ed sedutra is now following Yay. thank you welcome to the show um so it sat in los angeles since july 15th okay <laughs> 13 days ago wow okay and then today it's like oh it's in vancouver it just magically, I mean, it, 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 there's like a transport. It's just boom. waiting in line for the transporter to just, boom, suddenly it's, it's, it's in Canada. It's possible so. that I was waiting for an airplane. Oh, probably. To, to come here. Yeah. You know? But I also think they only they only scan it at certain points, too. I so think it so. just, it like disappears for long periods I think you're of time. reading off lurkers. Like, ah, no, that's huh? fine. Uh, they are following. Yeah. I don't know. Or voting. Uh, if they're voting, then. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not reading the voters, but. Uh, uh, they're following. I don't know. It comes up on the screen. No, no. He meant for the for the, the people in the chat. But a bunch oh. of people voted, right? So yeah. that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's only scanned at certain points from my experience. Yeah, you don't uh, always get the fly transporter. Fly yeah. Transporter. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what will it be when it arrives? It's a cross between an Atari Ooh, and... I hope it doesn't mix with anything else. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it should be delivered uh, tomorrow, it says. That could be updated. Mm. But it says it's in Vancouver. Um... Another it. piece of box art was mm -hmm. released for an upcoming game on Atari Age. Mm. Um, this time it's for The End, which is an arcade port by Raymond C. Mm. Let's take a look at that. I think I should have it. There we go. Oh, Rally Racer's up on that screen. Don't need that. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful box art. It's kind of like a... It reminds me a lot of... The 1960s Spider-Man cartoon when he's in space. <laughs> it's got really nebulous, purpley kind of look to it. This is green. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's got I don't that... remember that at all. The, the Spider-Man cartoon, he's in space? It looks like he's in space. But he, he's not. It just Oh, you mean like the a, backgrounds, like the a, nebulous backgrounds a, that they have sometimes. It's very psychedelic. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Like crazy psychedelic. Yeah, so yeah. that's what very it reminds me of. Very soft and... Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, artwork here. Yeah. Uh, Al says, here's a, here's a peek at the beautiful The End artwork by David Exton. Oh, nice. Um, so you can uh, go and take a look at that yourself mm -hmm. on The End's uh, thread on Atari Age. Um, space bandits are trying to steal bricks from your defense bases to create a message for humanity. Your, message, uh, your mission is to defend your bases, destroying as many space bandits as you can with your spaceship before they can complete their chilling message. And it says, end. <laughs> um, and, and it shows it on, like, that's exactly what the, the cover is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. But be careful, these space bandits are not alone. From the depths of space, the mothership approaches. It's a really fun game. Yeah. Did you get a chance to I, play that I, one? I feel like we did play this one. It, you shoot them, they steal your bricks, and, they and then they make, the they end. try to spell at the end. Yeah, yeah, it's a very cool game. It's very, very um, cool. They, yeah, and I love how they've picked a font that reminds me of like 60s science fiction. The thing. The thing. Yeah. yeah. And 50s, yeah. Yeah. Monster movie type. Or sci-fi well, stuff it's as well. it's specifically the font. I'm, I'm, I, I love. There's something that font is very, very retro. And and the the it's bricks nice. that they're stealing. Look at those spidery things yeah. coming down. Yeah, That's it's nice. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, and really he's included uh, the Batari Basic logo nice. there, made with Batari Basic. Nice. Yeah, that one is on my to buy list. It's a really, really good game. Mm. Um, and it should be on yours too. There's a whole bunch. Oh, my wallet's gonna be hurting. When he releases these games, there's so many good ones coming out. Uh, next month, it's mm. the end of this month already. 
March, end of July. So he is kind of said next month-ish now. Mm. Um, which brings us to another box that we're going to open, which is Rally Racer. Because we didn't open it last time. Uh, we just kind of looked at it. Because uh, we're going to play it now. So this is a really unique box. Um, Red Fox Packers now following. Mm. Thank you for following and watching the show. Need to make a VCS game called The Final. That mm -hmm. way, if it ever gets released, no one can communicate if they downloaded the final master or release candidate mm -hmm. ROM. Uh, I downloaded The Final. Is it The Final Final? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's a beta of The Final. Mm -hmm. Confusing. So confusing. David Exton says he chose the colors based on the arcade cabinets oh, colors. Oh, nice. Oh, now i got to look that up. Yeah. <laughs> i got to look it up now. Yeah. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. uh, the end arcade game. And I'm sure we can find. Oh, oh, is that it? Let's take a look. I'll show you guys in a second. Yeah, we'll get there. Oh, Bidding has oh. ended. <laughs> yeah, I well, think okay. that one's going to be a good yeah, one there you to go. go with. Um, there, so he's got the. The blue oh, on the, the sides there. So the there. green, the green uh, yep. background. And it's got the lasers nice. and the little bugs. Yeah, that that works pretty well. Good translation. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. Um, close that whole window down. Uh, so this game actually won for best uh, packaging in last year's Atari it's, Awards. Yeah, I really like it. It looks really good. And, and wait till like I pull it out. It's just incredible because this is actually a peekaboo kind of thing where it oh, shows the manual, the, the manual through the front. Oh, that's cool. Um, I like that. Hey, Sitaniki. Sitaniki. Uh, Rally Racer. Oh, is this not in English? This. Oh, no. Nope. It doesn't. Uh... This is in Portuguese. Oh, that's all right. That is fine. Maybe there's one in English? No, or not. Oh, that's somewhat in English. Nope. Nope. Some of it? No. no? Okay. No. Muddling our way We're through. We're just going to have to learn. Oh, English guide to the user manual. <laughs> Hooray! We're just going to. No, give me that. Hey. Don't wreck right. it. I'm not wrecking it. Okay, read to the back of it if it's in English? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the only English part. That's all right. S. Ramirez says it is in English too. What number of Rally Racer did you get? I think it's. I got the unlimited version of it because they printed 50 copies oh. of the limited. Um, mm. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I think. Unless it's two, but I don't think so. It says Rally Racer 2 and says more work games and as a sticker. What is the, for the people who have the unlimited um, or the limited version, what is there where they put the sticker over the more work and they've got another sticker on the cartridge too? Did they cover up a box? Maybe that was where they put the uh, numbers, like the limited out of 50. Oh. I bet it is. I think that's where it is. Yeah. And they've also got a very unique um, cartridge. It's like the Activision cartridges yes, with the yeah. grip on them. With the grip. I love and the, the grip. And the white plastic's nice too. That's not something very you nice. see all that much of. Yeah, because it matches the I car. Love, yeah, I love the art. Yeah. The art is really beautiful. And they've got... An ad for some of their other games. A New Marauder, uh, Rally Racer, Midnight Commando, Satellite Fortress, Polar Rescue. And I think those are... No, no, that's bent. Did control. you bend this? I did not. I blame you. What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't even pull it out. <laughs> Manhandling it. Um, could you put that in the Atari, please? Yes, I can do that. And it comes with a little tiny poster. Looks nice. And it comes with the instructions in Portuguese, which is nice. And there's very nice little sketches in it. Like, oh, yeah. Like little hand-drawn sketches. Mm. Um, and different card is cool. Uh, when I was little, that's why I loved the magic games. Yeah, they had the tapered off goes to a point, the magic mm. ones. Um, very, very nice packaging. You can see why... Um, it won for best packaging. It, it comes with so much stuff. It comes with a map too mm. of the uh, racing of your uh, different oh, routes. 
Very nice. That you're racing through. Very nice. Um, comes with a score sheet if you wanted to wreck it. Or what is this? Um, you yeah. have to read the Yeah, this is like a score. <laughs> it's like a score sheet. Yeah, what date you raced on, oh. um, the distance you went. Oh, nice. This is really, really, really yeah. cool and deta detailed. Yeah. Comes with a coaster. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just a card. Atari 2600 A Oom video game Projectado Poor J Minor Talk, Talks about the Atari yeah. 2600 <laughs> 1977 Something something And then it came to Brazil in 1983 uh, Is a cultural symbol For the 80s It's very um, You're trying to translate That's probably no, it, not <laughs> it, it has English They both have the same roots uh, Same Latin roots Yeah um, 1984 to 88, something, something. Okay. And it comes with a little, um, punch out. Now this, when I got it, was in this window in the back. Oh, nice. So it came out. So, and then as, when I opened it, it popped out. I don't know if it's supposed to pop out oh. or what's, well, what are you supposed make... to see through this? Maybe. I'll have to see how it goes back in because you're, it's obviously another window. Yeah. Very, very cool. Love, love, love the packaging. Mm -hmm. And look at the little insert. Yeah. That's their symbol. Oh. A little cutout is yeah. their symbol. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to the game. Yes. Uh, let's turn on our box. Oh, is our box not plugged in? No. Oh. Should be. It's not talking to me. It's up. Oh, well, that's okay. So here's your controller. Thank you. Make sure it's plugged in. It is. I know it falls out a little too easily. All oh. of a sudden, it stops working, and you suddenly realize the I'll cord's on the floor. Instructions. I'll give that to you. I will have some more beer. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> it is. I've got a little fan. Hopefully, it's not making uh. too much noise. I'll get it pointing close to you. It so is, this was first posted on September 15th, 2017. And the boxed copy was released February 1st, 2019. I don't know what the size is. Who knows? Uh, 32K, I'm going to guess. Uh, the other games they made, a new Marauder, Midnight Commando, Polar Rescue, Rally Racer, and Satellite Fortress. And you, uh, this is available uh, for ordering through their website. There is no ROM, so you uh, have to order it. Um, and Leandro messaged me today saying there's one more thing. He wanted to relay um rally racer will have a version on the odyssey 2 soon oh. programmed by rafael cardoso uh that has made more than 20 games for the odyssey in brazil mm. so that's big in brazil as well the odyssey 2. Mm. um so this first post about a september 15 2017 we'll be demonstrating two games that are in development rally racer and midnight commando if you're in the city this sunday come and chat with us meet and test the demos of the game um so let's get you started because I have a lot to read. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure the console is turned on before it. No. How much do I need to know before I exactly. start? Exactly. <laughs> so the color black and white switch turns on and off the music. Um, select switch to pause the game. The okay. difficulty switches are not used in the mm -hmm. game. Um, to win this rally and take the grand prize, you must go to, through 12 races that take place on an irregular terrain in Europe, Africa, and South America. Uh, to start, after checking the required information, the start is under your command. Press the joystick button to start the race. The green light will indicate that you can engage the gear and accelerate. Press the joystick button to run. Um, Say that again. So, Just when it's green, you get to go. I think you have to press reset. But uh, can you press the button? Nope. Okay. Oh, they can't see a thing. Ah, ah. Let's ah, just no. restart that. No. Stop, stop. Stop. They can't see anything. Okay. Okay, so this is what the screen you get when you reset. I was too excited reading all the stuff. Oh, I still didn't do it. <sighs> One second. <laughs> Terrible. A couple of false starts. That's a couple okay. of false starts. Yeah. Okay. And we're ready to go. Go, press the button. And you crash. And you crash. There you go. Um, bit. 
After checking the required information, blah, blah, blah. Although competitors and obstacles hamper the dispute, your biggest enemy is time. You will need to reveal your abilities to cross distances before the day or the night ends. So I think the timer is the sun on this one. Why is this so hard? Because the sun is crossing the top of the sky. Once you stop, you're like, screwed. <laughs> go, go. cars start passing you. Reset rage. Um, every time you reach the goal, an indicative cup is uh, will appear in the left during the corner of the race. Okay. Uh, uh, confirming your classification for the next race. So you have to make it pretty much what it's saying is you have to make it before the sun gets to the other side. It's about halfway there now. So much in your way. <laughs> it's a, a very popular race. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, no kidding. It's like driving into commuting to work every day. Uh, navigation the system. The car is equipped with a complex navigation system composed by a stage marker. So it has high and low gears, neutral, high and low. I think it's just the button. <laughs> gear indicator. Let's read that first. After the start, the car speed appears in the gear indicator in the lower left corner of the panel. The high gear High is joystick button pressed, helps you reach your race goals. But the low gear, low joystick button unpressed, you make overtaking with more safety. In the event of a collision, the gearbox automatically goes to neutral, stopping the car. Oh, the race is almost over. Oh, it's impossible. Well, it's not that impossible. There's so much on the <laughs> screen, though. It's rush hour. It is rush hour. <laughs> Rally racer. Guys, they, I swear they get right in front of you. They do. They, um, I played this just briefly, and they move where you are. Yeah, they so you, do. So you have to lead them and then cross the screen and, then, and lead them again. Oh. oh. Didn't make it. Whew. Okay. Intentional jump for collision? Um, I don't think so. I think <laughs> the screen is a little jumpy. <laughs> Game over. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go again? Mm-hmm. A uh, stage marker located in the left corner of the car panel indicates with numbers what stage will be traveled. Let's see if I can see that. Okay, so it has a little square there. It's oh, really hard to start up. No, it's starting up from neutral. Right. They end up right in front of you. It's like once you're once you're going, it's easier, but sometimes it's really hard to start. So there is points as well. Stretch register position in the left corner of the panel. Register with flags which of the three stretches you're in before the race starts. Hmm. Oh, the, the little thing at the bottom is moving. Yeah. Okay. So that's it's how completion. close you are. Yeah. I was I was not too bad. I no? was pretty. It seemed like I was close. <laughs> See, it's it's starting. It's starting up as. Huff. Uh, no, he tested. This is definitely NTSC. All the colors are correct. And, um, just there's a screen roll when you, there's a couple screen rolls. It's handling them okay. It's not freaking out. It's just flipping a bit. Very jumpy screen, yeah. Um, because if you test a game on a CRT, um, you may not see those screen flips. It may be a little bit more stable. The CRTs are a lot more forgiving than digital equipment. Digital equipment is like, I'm going to exactly show you what is happening. I'm going to freak out if I don't get the exact right information. But I mean, the, the, the screen jump kind of works with a collision. Um, Distance viewer. In the center of the panel, the distance viewer gradually records the progress as you race. The equipment shows how much of a stretch that you are disputing. Looks like you're almost there. Yeah, it's those, those um, cyclists are the worst. Yeah, they're all over the place. I think you just need a little bit more to go. It was flashing last time. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, well, you must have been really close. I don't though. know, but it was also close to sunset. Yeah, the sun's almost you, down. You you get held back so much when you hit oh, it's something. it's flashing. You're almost there. No, the sun's going down. It's nothing to do with... I don't know what that is. Is Cactus. Am I actually close? Oh, you oh, made I it. Oh, I did it. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, no, it just keeps going. 
Okay, so oh. stop there. So that's stage one, the desert zone. Sun is moving. Uh, it's 135 miles. Oh, that's just stretch one of the desert stretch zone. Stretch one. See, I've got the first cup. Oh, uh, yay. Cup. So there's four stretches. Four stretches? Yeah, the next one is not as long, it looks like. Oh, no, that's the length of the stretch, so it's a little bit longer. Mm. I had that issue with crosstalk. Multiple TVs showed no jump. Yeah, that's why it's good to test on lots of different TV. The cyclists really want to die. Um, could be Pal M. Hmm. I am going to look up what they have in Brazil. Yep, press the button to go to the next stage. Yep. Okay. Or not. Ooh. Maybe you have to hit the reset? Uh, maybe. I want to make sure that we don't press the wrong thing. There's a lot of instructions. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, cups. Now you're ready to uh, press a reset switch to start the next race okay. immediately. Good. So that doesn't reset the game. No, no, no. Good. That's good. Okay, good. Yeah, two flags. Yeah, we are good. Red, yellow, green, go! Just like thrusts you into it. Oh, do you get a head start on the next race? Because I this is the graphics for the next race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you. Ah. Yeah. They show you. I so like that's the camel. good. Yeah. This must be uh, Senegal. So this is still the desert zone, but is stage two. Heard? So stage one was Lisbon, Portugal. Mm -hmm. uh, stretch two is Morocco, Tangier. Mm. Uh, your destination is Casablanca. Ah. Ah. Minim minimum race distance, 165 miles. Uh, Tangier, Morocco, January 6th. Uh, second day of... This is so detailed. At 8 a.m., the day promises to be very hot. This can be a barrier. We'll go to Casablanca, and the minimum distance oh, to be covered is 165 miles. We'll have company, too. Some dromedaries have been seen on the route, so I'll have to double my attention. The terrain is really irregular, with many holes. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's potholes on the sides. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in tr I'm trained to the situation all in good order yet. This is not good. Oh, there's so much. <laughs> oh, they're going so fast too. It's very hard. They, they like slow down in front of you when you first start. <laughs> it's oh, there's so much. It's crazy. Pal M is NTSC with pal colors as far as I know. Uh, Brazil is Pal M, which works on NTSC TV. Ah, okay. I thought Brazil is NTSC. I got my obviously two games from there. So I'm gonna look up NTSC. Uh, Pal M. Watch out for those camels, Esther Mirror says. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Pal M. So does Pal M have the same number of lines as us? Because that's the only way it would work, right, on our TVs. But how many frames per second does Pal M have? What does that stand for? Let's see. Pal Cyclist. M is the analog TV system used in Brazil. Not gonna make since it. 1972. Oh, no, you're not, not even close. No. Too much smashing. Oh, it's flashing. No, because the, the day's ending. The day's ending. Oh. Damn camels. It's unique among TV systems. <sighs> Combines 525 lines. Well, at least 30 you keep frames your cup. per second. That's good. Oh, do you? Yeah. You can just keep trying it. Uh, oh, so it is, it's just like our system, except it has different colors. Okay, so my turn. You're going to start with uh, this one? I don't know if it continues on. It does, just... because the cup is still flashing there. Oh. So I think I think you, you get to keep going. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really I cool. I think so. We'll see. See if you get camels. There you go. Ah. 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 <laughs> That's what I mean. Ah. It's the starting up that gets you because once you once you hit something, it, it, ah, it, it, it's challenging to get started again. So it's, it's fun though. Bastards. Oh, there's cactuses right in the middle. Like they're not just on the side, they're sometimes in the middle. So where were you at? Oh, Stretch it's just two? all over the place. It's so much instructions and information. Oh, there's so many stretches. <laughs> there are. <gasps> there's stage one, stage two, stage three. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, 
that's so cool. Racer tips. Did you read the racer tips? Uh, no, that would be helpful. Okay, in the start, stay in a straight line for a few seconds and only change the direction of the car to overtake your opponents. The faster you drive the car, high gear, the better your result will be in the rally ranking. Be very careful with the obstacles of the race that you may have trouble uh, to go through them, yeah. Uh, when you collide with an opponent or obstacle, keep the vehicle centered in the startup to pass between opponents without being cut off. Mm, so stay stay straight for a little bit. At the beginning? Yeah. Um, I think I've got a pattern down now. Avoid doing any maneuvers when passing between two quadricycles. It's too risky. Quadricycles? Certain people drive better listening to music. Others don't. Turn off the car radio if it is stealing your attention. <laughs> At the end of the third stretch of each stage, near to Destination City, the terrain has less obstacles. Uh, accelerate to achieve your goals and break the rally records. Sometimes the vehicles of the other teams run in pairs, opening the way. Take this moment to achieve good results. Observe the marks that I made on the map on the back side of the team sheet during my research on the territory and watch out for the surprises in the race. Good luck. Camel! Oh, you made it already? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, kicking ass. <laughs> Too many enemy cars on the road at one given time. There's a lot, but it's very doable. Mm. At least it keeps your progress so you can practice each stage until you pass them. Yeah, yeah I like that. Gameplay yeah. seems manic. It's it's crazy. It's pretty good. I like it. There's so, a lot, a lot of enemies on, on the, the road. third stretch mm -hmm. now. And so you want to read off... For the third one? Um, the end of stretch two and the beginning of stretch three, Casablanca, Morocco, because that's where I just got into. So, stretch three, departure, Marrakesh. Nope, I didn't read the end of like, oh, you didn't? getting into Morocco. Casablanca, Morocco, end of race, hot sun, the heat made the race very difficult. It was. <laughs> I'm even getting used to it. <laughs> no, I'm not. The motorcycles have been a serious, oh, they're motorcycles, that makes more sense. I, I blame cyclists all the time. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have been a serious problem so far, but I'm happy with today's result. The name of the city and the music that played on the radio reminded me of my favorite 70s rock group. <laughs> so it remains stretch, unnamed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Stretch three, departure Marrakesh, destination Tan Tan. Tan Tan. Minimum race distance, 195 miles. This last stretch holds for me. There will be 195 regulatory miles before arriving in the city of Tan Tan. After two days of race, I commented with the crew that our 1973 Lancia Stratos is bravely holding up to the challenges. In today's race, it's good to remember that. I need to keep going forward. There's just enough room between those two cars to get between them. Yes. But the cyclist oh, the, not is the, cyclist. the problem. The motorcyclist. Motorcyclist. Yes. Terrible. They really jam you up. They jam you. There in between them. Exactly. Damn it. Damn it. Somehow we lost all our cats. <laughs> cats are too hot. They're melted upstairs. Yeah. So there, there is a pattern until the cyc the motorcyclist comes in. And you just can't, you have to stay a little bit far away from the edges mm. because things will creep in a little bit from time to time. Like that camel that was just there, like that one. Yeah. Ah! Ugh. Mm. Ugh. It's a lot of cactuses. Yeah. Cacti. Cacti. Cactuses. Hey. Oh, woo! Beep. Now it's the bonus, like you're you're making I up guess, extra yeah, time. Yeah, you get extra miles, right? So you get extra score, so I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to go as far when you go to the next uh, yeah. part. Um, so there's one more leg no, you in this. Don't you start back at zero? No. No? Oh, okay. I hope not. Don't bend the instructions. Bending? Yes, you are. I'm not. D let it fall open nicely. I would never let you borrow my comics. <laughs> Treating them like that. <laughs> Your comics are worth five cents now. So I, know. I know. So sad. Yeah.
Okay. okay, so at Last the end leg. of stretch three, end of race, finally we completed the first stage of the rally. I got three cups, oh. one in each stretch. Yep, okay. Yep. Um, and I hit the record for the route. I feel excited to stay in the competition. Dakla, Western Sahara. The city received us very well. The people were very welcoming and are happy with the hustle of the event. I need to get some rest and then use the day to check the car. Nice. So do we go to the next... Stretch? The entire next stage. So you're moving on to the next stage now. Okay. How do you get there? Uh, will occur overnight, and it looks like it mm. will be harder than the first one. From what I checked, <sighs> the distances are large, and the route is more obstructed than I thought. Mm. Okay. So how do we reset? Didn't do, do anything. Do you just no? Try it again. Might be game select to get oh. to the next one. Um, yep. Maybe. Is it? Nope. Don't mess it up. How do you do it? Help. Help, Brazilians. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot, hot. Uh, select switch to pause the game. Yeah. Anybody know how to get to the next stage? Stage Color marker, black and white. located in the left nope. corner of the car panel. Is it difficulty switches? Nope. No, the difficulty switches aren't used. I pressed everything. Hold it down. Hold on, gear indicator. Mm. Help, help. <laughs> Help. It must just be the select. It's not. It doesn't do anything. No. Unless I paused it accidentally. <gasps> Did you select. reset it? Oh, no. There, no, there. it still says three. So select pauses. Select doesn't pause right now. So the... Only during the game, I think. Hmm. We may have to stop here. No! Switch off and turn on. No! <laughs> James broke the game! Let's see. I don't know. I haven't. I've. Yeah, it just says select for the next stage. On and off. Ah. Really? It okay. remembers? It's got memory in it? Wow. Okay. Fingers crossed. I mean, it's possible that they put some non volatile RAM in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yep. Wow. Oh, wow. So we're at the night stage. You actually turn off and yeah, back on the game. That's really cool. It knows. I've never seen a game that's like that really before. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're in stretch one. That, stage I would never two. have thought of that. Somebody actually said that in the chat, and I just did not... Uh, mm. I just didn't believe them, because that's <laughs> so unusual. So, Zurat, Mauritania. Oh, blue. Destination Atar, Mauritania. Tanya? Mauritania? Is that right? Mauritania? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Mor Mauritania? Ah, cactus. Uh, minimum race distance, 140 miles. Shortly. Uh, throughout the stage, I will ha I only have the night to reach the goals. In this first stretch, I must succeed the required 140 miles before going to Atar. It will be three nights of much attention. This time much. I need to keep an eye on the moon. When the moon sets on the horizon, the race will end. Mm. There's some gray vehicles. Nice. Okay, I've got a pattern now. <laughs> Do you? Oh, no, I messed up. Yeah, you, 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 you can't say that out loud. <laughs> that's, that's you go to the right, and then you swerve to the left. Okay. And it's because uh, it pulls the bottom car towards you. But the top card doesn't pull towards you in, mm. in enough time, so it stays on the left. It's not it's not easy, but uh, or there you get things like that. It's bloody hell! Now the motorcycle's like the normal one. Then there's this gray one that comes in once in a while and messes you up. Oh, cup! Oh, well, that was quick. Got a good head start on like two. Oh, it's a rock there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's stuff all over the screen now. Yeah. 
There are rocks. So let's see. Um, so end of race. Well, yeah, I might as well say it. The vegetation really was denser and could be even more closed than the previous stage. Very dense. Uh, the terrain had many stones at the end of this stretch. I hope this yep. does not become a bigger problem tomorrow night. <laughs> this time, the music on the radio made me a little tense, but their name <laughs> remind me of, of something I already know. You get lots of Oh, my goodness, time. you're almost done. Oh, that was extra time. Extra time. Good Whew. job. Well, it was only 140 miles. He's more bug testing. This on a melody board doesn't fl support flash updates. I, I don't know what kind of board they use, mm. but it does have memory in it. Yes. Like very cool. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. All right. KF. Stretch 170 two. 170 meters. Uh, departure. I do not know how to pronounce this properly. Tij, tijdikta. Tij, tij, I wish when you started the yeah. race, tij, tij, that yeah. would scroll down and disappear. Yeah. As your car went past it. Oh, that would be cool. Because when you press button, it just goes. Poof, yeah. Just disappears. Um. And you're like in the race <laughs> immediately, <laughs> thrown into the uh, race. Destination Kifa, Mauritania. Uh, minimum oh, race distance rocks. 170 miles. Um. January 9th, 5th oh day of race, 6 p.m. I'll head to Kifa and have a minimum of 170 miles to complete the second night stretch. The challenge seems to be starting to take shape, and driving at night is always more complicated. My co-driver, L. Miller, warned me about something familiar in today's in yesterday's race. He thinks that we should pay more attention to race participants today. Mm, there's definitely more rocks. There's stuff all over the place yeah. now. It's much harder. Crashing mm. a lot. Could have got a head start on this one, I think. I don't know if that head start counts. Hope so. Oh God. Hmm. Ah! ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the gray guy. Looks like a spider. It does. A ginormous spider. Ah. It is challenging. Stuck all over the place. What do you need to make for this one? 170. Did, did the bar at the bottom start slightly full, or is it like zero? Uh, no, it starts at zero. Oh, so you don't get a head start. I don't start. think you get you a get head extra start. Points. You get extra points, oh, yeah. Okay. Which is fine. For the stage, yeah. So you can you can challenge yourself for, yeah. for your best See stage. See how much better you can get. What is it, though? Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah. Rogue driver on the, mm -hmm. on the course. But it, it, it's good because it presents an extra little challenge every once in a while. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the course right now. Yeah, it's the, oh, the motorcyclists. Oh, you're almost there. There you go. Yay! Yay. Oh, get out of the way of the cactus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, mm. Ah. S. Ramirez, more cacti. No, less cacti. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so hard. I think I'll play to the end of Oops. this leg of it. Okay. You're not going to go to uh, stage three? Is that all? No, there's four. <sighs> That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> It'll remember it. It'll save it, right? Technically. Yeah, I suppose it would. Uh, okay, so, Kifa, end of race. We arrived in good shape despite the nighttime difficulties. The motorcycles still haven't given up the rally. No, they haven't. And keep complicating the overtakings. It has not been easy to drive all night, but it will not shake me. Oh, my God. Tomorrow, I believe that with Miller's help, I can gain an edge over the other competitors. So, stretch three, departure. Tambacunda, Senegal. Destination, Dakar, Senegal. Uh, minimum race distance, 200 miles. Wow. Uh, Tamakunda, Senegal, January 10th, 6th day of race, 6 p.m., last night stretch of the rally. The car is already in need of repairs, and I have 200 minimum miles of race before arriving in Dakar. I kept thinking about what we saw during last night's race, and I sense that this will help in this end stage. Mm. 
I need to keep the spirit and the control forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like made it through some crazy stuff just then. Like you almost need to use the whole play field now, because there's stuff just everywhere. Mm. But you don't get a lot of time for the, the cactus and rocks, like no, no time. You have to no. just move immediately. Just dash. They're not quite in the center, oh. so center is fairly safe. Almost to the end, I think. Getting there. 200. Ah! Challenging. It, it's very crashy. <laughs> very challenging. So many things to crash into. Almost. I just, I hate when you hit something, there is a delay before you can start again. Yeah, it's like a little it punishment. It really, really punishes you. Oh. Oh, I'm almost so out of time. Close, so close. Go. <gasps> just. Yay. Yay. So, end of race. Every bank switch method is is a hack. As Atari, mm -hmm. we're not designed to access more than 4K mm -hmm. at the beginning. There was still bank okay. switching during the... So end of race again. I did well and I won the three cups of the stage. I also broke the record crossing part of the west coast of the African continent at maximum speed. Time to party. Uh, potentially relies on the riot ram not being completely cleared when turned off and on really quick. Really? So if I turn it off for a long time and turn it back on, it may not remember. Mm. That's interesting. Oh, there's multi-carts that changed games by power cycling. Mm. Okay. I yeah. think we will stop there. And I'm we'll done. We'll leave the last two for mm. the people another who time. buy the game. Yeah, That's or true. another time. Yeah. Don't want to give it all away. No. Um, very, very good. Very challenging racing. Yeah. It's very fast. It is fast. It takes, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, the packaging is incredible. Mm -hmm. So much that you get with the game. And yeah, it's it's really, um, really challenging, really fun. Neat graphics with the sunset looks great. Um, oh, I love the sunset. The, the, the graphics at the top are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And the moon yeah. and the sun going across. Yeah. That's really, really nice. Yeah. They use that in yeah. Aardvark as well. Yeah. With, um, that is the timer. Yep. Um, so it's a really nice little yeah, addition. Yeah, I like that a lot. 209, yeah. Jay. Thank you very much, <laughs> Arena Foot. Um, and thank you so much. Um, I didn't read all, a lot of stuff here. Um, do you want to play written? just for a little bit? Yeah. Oh, well, it's not going to be very good. You're going to so, have to uh, turn it off and on. So weird. And so we'll... we'll uh, so weird turning it off and on to, re to go to the next level. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Back to daytime. So, uh, it said, on February 1st, 1983, one of the Atari 2600's most iconic games, Enduro, was released. Exactly 36 years later, on February 1st, 2019, more work games will launch a game for you to relive the great speed moments. Rally racer for Atari, get ready for this race. And then they had a pre-order that was on uh, January 28th, 2019. And so they had a 50 cart limited edition version of this, um, which I am thinking the little stickers cover over the white blank space that said out of 50. Um, More Work Games is the developer of games for old consoles and was a pioneer, the first in Brazil to release new games for the Atari 2600. <laughs> This is a More Work website, morework.com.br, is quite complete with images of the cartridges, spreadsheets to download, and record the Rally Racer score for those who do not want to go through the material that accompanies the game. And several tips for the game. The site is in English and Portuguese. I wonder what game Tanya is playing. Oh. <laughs> She's playing Rally Racer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice snide little thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if that says can't see the screen. Yeah, because I was going to switch to another game. Yeah. 
A fun game and the complete in box is great. It's they beautiful. add a lot to their complete yeah. in box, yes. Very Hard nice. to see in the Galaga picture. What? You can't see in the yeah. reflection. <laughs> Thank goodness here. for that Galaga picture, eh? Like yeah. how many how many shows would you have uh, missed uh, whole yeah. games if it weren't for that Galaga picture? <laughs> need to put a mirror here so they can see it even if <laughs> Yeah, true. even if uh, I don't show it. Looks like a back to the future car. Yeah, the, it does. Uh, for the gray one. Yeah. For what is it? Squat. DeLorean? DeLorean, yeah. Um, Rally Racer was programmed in partnership with Brazilian programmer Flavio oh, Nunes nice. and was launched on February 1st, 2019. A tribute to Activision's Enduro launched on this date 36 years later in 1983. Yay! Earlier. Woo! Oh, there's a... What was that? There was a llama! Oh. Is that a llama? What alpaca. is that? Alpaca. Is it an alpaca? Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, the... and I keep hitting them. Oh. <laughs> Poor alpacas. Um... Yeah, so there. James needed a mirror there instead of Al Galaga. Yeah. yeah. That would be so funny. Uh, you did it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no, I made it. It was pretty sure. Now we're going to switch games. Oh. Whoa. 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 Thank you so much to More Work Games yeah. for sending that over to us. Very, 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 very fun. Very, cool. And very fun. I don't know if it remembers. Oh, it even says More Work Games. Does it really? On, on the, the little, on the little uh, PCB thing? board. Yeah. I didn't open up nice. my other packages. You had more packages? Not related, but... Um, oh, we'll open them now? Yep. Nothing like unboxing. It's like uh, opening presents. There I you go. I love it. Next I game we're going to be too. playing <laughs> is the Little one, little Edge one in Greece, and it's a okay. exclusive world premiere. Excellent. So these are all new games. I already know. I don't know. Let's see. So this one is from Super Rare Games. So these are game companies that release things that were digital releases and puts them on um, physical, oh, okay. physical yes. media. I was like, that's not an Atari game. <laughs> so, fluffy. Um, this one is Grace, Graceful Explosion Machine. Okay. And it's a shooter, kind of a cave shooter. Mm. Um, I love shooters. Yep. So... I usually buy them if they look decent. And I think this one's a shooter as well. <laughs> oh, this is taped and it's got little uh, fold down things. It. I'm terrified when you do that. You look like you're going to stab yourself okay, in the chest. Okay, I'll cut away. I'll cut away. Cut from away me. from yourself. I haven't stabbed myself so far. Don't, don't even, don't even. <laughs> no. Mm. I'm going to have to cut it. There we go. This one. And this one is from uh, Strictly Limited Games. There's nice. like a bunch of them now Ooh. that have. Yeah. Ooh, this one comes with a pin. Darius. This is a well known shooter nice. that has been released on many, many platforms. Um, but this one is Darius. Cosmic Collection comes with, they usually include oh, postcard nice. with it. PS4 game? It's a PS4. Nice. Uh, Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade um, comes with the old, new, extra versions. Darius, Darius 2, Sagia, and Darius Gaiden. Mm. Four arcade games, seven versions, huge battleships, approaching fast. Mm. Um, Love shooters. Very, very fun. There's your pin. And a very pin. Very nice little pin. Yeah. Excellent. So the next Good. game we're playing is The Little Edge One in Greece. 2020 work in progress exclusive world debut by Tom. I don't know if his... Where did you put the card? Oh, well, there it is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he wants his full name known. Okay. Well, Tom is good too. Why isn't the... Is it pushed on all the way? No. Oh, that's why. Not plugged in? Not plugged in. That's why. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. Um, it's first posted to me. July 10th, 2020. Emailed me. And this build is from today. Kept updating Oh, it. wow. It's like, cool. I fixed something else. I fixed something else. I fixed something else. <laughs> good. Good. The, the more stuff you fix, the better it is. That's awesome. Start? Yes. Um, it's a 4K game. Uh, this is the only uh, game 
uh, that he has made that I know of. Oh, cool. By the way, James, you made it through the XO beta much quicker than I did. Took me many tries, including rage resets. Mm. Oh, I love that type of game, uh, EXO. Um, it's kind of a cave puzzle shooter mm. type game. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I really, really like those games. You so love probably those had a games, lot yeah. of practice on them. Yeah. And I did play it a tiny bit before I showed it on the show. But mm. um, so this is please find uh, Tom emailed me on July tenth. Press mm -hmm. button. So you already wasted a life. So I'll, did I'll just, I? I'll just reset. How did I waste a life? Oh, maybe I can't reset. Oh. Okay. So there's just there's oh. left, right for oh, moving. Yeah. Up is to jump. And the button is for a parachute on the way down, if you want to go down slowly. Uh, that's the sun in the sky. Don't hit that. Oh. There you go. And you have to collect all the fruit in the sky. Uh, oh, you so, cannot touch it. Okay, no, good to know. Don't touch any of those things. Tom emailed me on July 10th. Please find, attach my new game and please give me my feed, some feedback. The game is in alpha status and is a little project during the holiday. I don't know why I'm loving Cheers. why I'm loving this old retro console so much. Maybe the narrow restrictions of the system and the fast progress in coding. Oh, um, so he followed up on July 25th. Uh, please find attached my new progress. The title is called The Little Edge One in Greece. Title screen is not finished. No title screen yet either. Collect gameplay. Collect different fruits. If you got at least 10 fruits of any kind, you will come to the next level uh, if the round is over. Uh, scrolling 255 oh, bytes. Cannot. The scrolling will, speed will increase every round. Use the fire button to slow down the falling speed. Avoid the grease buildings, the Greek buildings, uh, and the flashing square, the sun. So those are Greek buildings, and that's where the name comes from. Um, the little edge one in Greece. So I guess that guy's name is the little edge one. Um... <laughs> uh, Gameplay, uh, I did it with Batari Basic with some minor changes on the standard kernel. Three digit score instead of six digit score. Uh, the life counter on the lower left bottom of the screen. Only 4K. Maybe someday I'll do completely an assembler with higher graphics, res, and more sprites. Fruit's pretty good. Um, fruit's already included in the game. Cherry, banana, so you're on banana level. Mm hmm. Um, then it's strawberry, and then pear, and then air balloons, uh, or balloons, moving. I plan that balloons could take you up to the sky, scrolling up. Oh. Any suggestions and feedback, my game would be an honor for me. Greetings from Germany. And then he uh, did improvements in the end level. Uh, princess rescue, you rescue a princess at the end of the game. Mm. A Greek princess, I guess. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Now the moon is your obstacle. Oh, at the end of the game, the sun turns into the moon. Reminiscent of the last game. Yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That does move across the sky as well. Oh, that's never good. No. It's hard to get the fruit on the far right. It is... That... that right there is the hardest fruit to get. That's what I was going to say. The, if it's at the far right, you just risk getting hit. You have to time it and fall just after a building. But I... I there was a banana or a cherry at one point, and I just... I could not get it. It is possible. I have done it. No. Too slow. Um, Ju July 28th, I succeeded all levels, or I finished all levels, and found a glitch between level 7 and the end level. So I guess there's 8 levels. Uh, I just corrected, so now all things should be fine. So this is the exclusive world debut of this game. It's not posted in the Atari Age forums, not posted anywhere. So this is out of left field. He just emailed me from nowhere. Um, he's a fan of the show. Good. And so oh, you just got it. See, it is yeah. possible. No, but no, the lower one's fine. The upper one. The upper one's hard? I found the upper one harder. No, float in and float out with your uh, umbrella. Need the Parthenon and the Acropolis. Yeah, he um, should be able to make any variety of scrolling uh, different types of uh, buildings at the bottom. He's got like little short ones. <sighs> oh, start it over. Yeah. Back to cherries. Pretty Who made this game? Tom. I don't know how much he wants to his name known or if he wants a pseudonym, um, but I'm just going to go for Tom right now. Just Tom in quotes. Um, I don't know if he's on the Atari Age forums, um, mm. but I will, if he's watching this live or in YouTube, um, you should join the Atari Age forums and uh, post this so everyone else can um, play it and give you some feedback as well. Bananas. 
and do bug testing for you. So the only thing I would say that is a little bit strange, but it's not oh, it's not that weird, yeah. is if you jump, you always go to the top and down. Yes. So that's just something to know. Yes. You, you can't control your height, which makes it awkward. Like, not bad. It just makes the, just the gameplay interesting because most games you control your height. And this one, you have to keep that in mind yeah. the whole time. Like, this is very dangerous when the sun gets close you have to, get past it. to the far end. And if, if the timing of things makes it impossible, it makes it very hard. I'm not... Am I done? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, no lives. I'm getting more. I'm getting more cof uh, coffee. Coffee, more coffee. It's either coffee or beer. <laughs> I'm getting One more of those. Beer. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, he could change it so that you press the button to stop going up. Possibly. I think she's yelling at the cats to come downstairs. <laughs> it's like, come downstairs, cats. Oh my god, that was terrible. Oh, missed it. So you just have to get ahead of the sun. Oh, I'm gonna die. Gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Ah, oh, that's so hard. Oh my god. Oh yeah, a bunch of bananas in a row. Don't tease them with promise of bugs. We make noises when we uh, see a bug. We want them to catch the bug. Oh, oh, just barely, there he is. Barely made it. The Hi. Hello, He's sir. looking for the bug because you teased him no he's here to say hi oh yeah. my god made it to 60 points oh good oh good is there strawberry? oh i still have one more life excellent yep strawberry level very very miss pac-man <laughs> yeah oh it got pear pear level mm -hmm. oh can i get it oh good job just barely I know oh, it's hot. I know. He says, don't. I'm there hot. Go. Yeah. Oh, another. Oh, that's a hard one. Cherry? Plum? Uh, Plum? Because we already had cherries, mm -hmm. right? Hmm. Apple? Go, go. No. No. Mm. Big leaf for an apple. Oh. Oh, there's a balloon. Is that the last level? Uh, Maybe. And then it becomes a moon or something? Yeah, then it should... Oh, oh what? Oh, I gotcha. The hidden one. 192. I like nice. the LED scoring at the font at the bottom. Yes, yes, so do I. Tom from MySpace? Yeah, I think it's Tom from MySpace. He's making <laughs> uh, he's making Atari 2600 games now. I mean, he didn't he make like a ton of money? Tom from MySpace? Yeah, like he exited out quickly, early, and uh, maybe not. I don't know. You don't hear about Tom from MySpace. <laughs> Or maybe he's still running the company? I don't Does know. My MySpace still exists. Oh. It does. Very, very different. Pogo Man with an umbrella. Yeah. Uh, you're allowed to use a parachute to control height. Yeah, that would be not a bad idea. I mean, it, it gives a, the game a distinct feel that you it go does. up to the top. It yeah. makes it a little bit more challenging. I think if you could control oh, the height... It wouldn't be really the same game, but I don't know. It's hard to say how we would play if you're able to um, control how high you go up. Oh, the sun. Do feet count? Oh, yeah. Some Atari. Yeah. Little symbols in there. Yeah. Atari emojis. Uh-huh. Oh, he's biting me. Is he? Yeah, he's like, no. that's enough. That's Too enough. much stimulation. Yep. Let's get caught in that sun. Just have to get ahead of it. Ugh. Now you can get ahead of it. No, I can't. I always get stuck behind it. One more. Yeah. 
You I always think I... get time to practice <laughs> these, which is completely unfair. So unfair. It is so unfair. <laughs> Set me up to fail all the time. Oh, no. Oh, I got a happy face from Leandro for the for the, the rally racer game. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Very game. fun game. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Looks oh, great. Nicky, Nicky, Nicky. The packaging's great. Everything's good. Yeah. And the so, added bonus of turning your game system off. And you know what? <laughs> I love I love the narrative that goes along with it oh, in the manual. Like that like just a, adds so much. It's like a detailed report of yes, every day. I love of it. Playing. It's like you're playing a little uh um, RPG almost. Well, not an RPG. I was gonna say like a, it's like a little movie of itself. You know, oh, it's like yeah. you're you're following along. Naming your. For close to the edge, you're kind of unfair. I wouldn't. They're not unfair. They're they, hard. They are doable, but hard. they are hard. Can you go? Oh, you Whoa! Can. I've never done that before. It, it's really low. Yeah. You've it never is. you've never gone over the sun. No. I figured that you had to. No, that's an interesting move. Yeah, you but can the, barely... sun's, the sun comes down over time. Does it? Yeah, I think Maybe it does. Maybe that's what makes it harder. I don't know. Oh, no, it seems to be the same place. I'm going to watch I it. I could have... It's on ju Whoa. <laughs> just the edge of that blue. Yeah. See if it goes any further down. It does. It is going down. Is it? Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't... You're doing a lot better this time. Well, yeah. I did better than the last time, yeah. All right. Arena foot says yes the fruit is f unfair oh it starts higher again mm, mm -hmm. interesting it does yeah hmm i don't know what that oh. means right on it <laughs> impaled 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 on the parthenon Ooh, good one i guess you can get it with your umbrella uh, any part of you touches it i guess I it's, so. it counts only cows can jump over the moon no animals can jump over the sun well, it, there will be a moon coming up, but I don't think it turned into a cow. So, I don't know. Has, has the score... You're doing really well. Oh, oh. 174? Was that yep. my score? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad you at all. You made it really high. You did 192. Oh, yeah. I, I feel pretty good now. <laughs> much better? <laughs> yes, much better. Good. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay? sorry, I'm playing your game. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, I'll keep playing. Get my score higher. <laughs> Won't count, though. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, he sacrificed. You have to me. watch the sun. That isn't. Uh... It was sacrifice to the fates. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. But it is gonna, good to know you can jump over it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Might be better when it's a little bit lower in the sky. Every time you don't die, it gets lower and it crosses, mm -hmm. so. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh, God. Yeah. When it wraps around, you have to be careful. There's definitely a bit of lead, isn't there? Like, like on the screen? Oh, on the right hand on side? On both sides, on the left and the right. They're, like, I, I notice that with Batari Basic games. Is, is it always that way? Yeah, mm. I, I seem to... That's the built-in kind of thing because mm. i've seen that a lot on batari basic like yeah, it just it's, jumps it's, on the screen it's nice if you can see the um uh the obstacles coming a little sooner yeah you just have to um, prepare for that i guess yeah they kind of they kind of materialize in midair <laughs> is, is what it kind of feels like yeah that's okay yeah as long as you know that that's where they come out yeah exactly Oh yeah. Ooh, I'll take all those. That was that was very lucky. Yep. Love it when that happens. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted. There we go. Got it. We're very happy Atari cat Is it here. Purring? Yeah. Oh, just missed it. You doing okay? Yeah. Up to the cherries already. Oh, or whatever these are. Cherry yeah. bombs. <laughs> Cherry bombs, yeah. Cherry bombs. Nice. Plums. I'm gonna say plums. Yeah. They don't quite that makes look like sense. apples. Is there a fruit in Germany that we don't know about? <laughs> Maybe. A German know. fruit? I don't know. It's always possible. <gasps> no, 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 no. Maybe it's a hop. I'm on a beer theme today. Oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Not oh, really. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, balloon time. Mm, they float across. Oh, God. No. They float across. I don't know why I didn't notice that. They don't oh, stay didn't? in one spot. Yeah. Yeah, and they, and they move at a different speed than the sun and the things yeah. below. Neat. That is very cool. Yeah. That's I think this is variety. a great, great little game. It is. It's really fun. It is really fun. It's got enough and mechanics that it's not easy. It's... And it's... Him, him jumping... Ugh. Up and down, completely up and down. What's that? Oh, oh, it's the balloons. No, it's like a lemon. No, I don't know what that is. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks no, no. lemon like. Um, yeah, lemony. Mm hmm. Kind of like a pear, but they've already had a pear. No, no! I'm pretty sure that's a lemon. Oh, why there? Yeah, it's the worst. Oh. You definitely have to float and then drop yourself. Yes, that's what you have that's to do. That's what there. you have to do. But careful, the sun. <gasps> Oh is that a God. bee? What is that? Uh, that is cool. 352. Yeah. Needs a reset, restart, restrainer. <laughs> Prevent accidental restarts after game over. Mm -hmm. Yes. You just need a timeout. Like, no matter what you press, don't restart during that time. Yeah. Because this game... 352. Very, very good. Yep. But I haven't beaten yet. I think I'm close. What's the high score? Because it's 10, 10 levels? 8 levels. And then you rescue the princess. Oh, you you do rescue there the There is princess. an end to this game, yeah. Oh. Uh, Packer VG. So, like, how do you get an Walter Day card? <laughs> uh, I need my own cards from Walter. Three of myself and three from my show VCS. Uh, he added me onto card 3,414 for the first time with the release of my Volume 4 book. Oh, uh, okay. You just have to do something really impressive, I guess, to get on a Walter Day card. Get the attention of Walter Day. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Arena Foot won't tell us his secrets. <laughs> Ooh, drop down. Yeah. I think I'll make it this time. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna gonna try and make it. Oh, that was risky, really risky. risky. What's a Walter Day card? Well, glad you asked. It's this thing. And this was um, sent to me by Roger, who made the patches for the Activision boxing, the homebrew patches. Let's read out oh, the no, back of it. Walter Day's Superstars of 2019. Video game and pinball trading cards. So he has to be related to video game or pinball. Um, Roger Blair, PC Console Gamer of the Year, 2018, Mountain City, Tennessee. PC Ro Console? Yeah, PC Slash Console. Oh. Roger was born in 1974 in Lake City, Florida, oh, and is known as Roger Poco at Twin Galaxies. He says, gaming has been a, long li a lifelong passion for me, but took a different turn in August 2016 when I was introduced to high-level burger time play. <laughs> high-level burger time play. That's funny. Um... From there, I began chasing high scores daily and have achieved world records in over 20 gaming platforms. I currently hold the number one rankings on many platforms at Twin Galaxies, including Vectrex, Odyssey 2, SNES, Sega Master System. I'm also especially proud of my accomplishments on the Atari 2600 and in television. I thrive on active competition with my peers as a leader and a follower and consider the friendships I have made through gaming some of my greatest accomplishments. The PC... Co console gamer of the year award is truly an honor something i will always cherish so he actually won an award mm -hmm. um so that's probably why he is on this this is card number 3183 that is a lot of cards mm -hmm. um does anybody have a full set besides walter day <laughs> that is insane amount of cards says this trading card was presented on saturday may 18th 2019 by old school gamer magazine during the color switch celebration of Walter Day's 70th birthday at John Weeks Le Legendary Museum of Pinball in Banning, California. Production of the trading card was made possible through a financial grant generously donated by Color Switch Phoenix. Oh, you're dead? I think you have one more. No, I'm dead. You sure? Yep. Zero. Zero? I Pretty don't sure. know. Nope. You still go. Oh. Zero really? has to disappear. I guess it decreases it. See, that's unusual. That's left? Yeah. Yeah, oh, so now, now it disappeared. Dead. Yeah. Okay. That's definitely so I'm still not sure how exactly you get a trading card. Mm. Website for this? Suppose I could Google it. Mm. Holy 
quit out of the chat room. Okay. No, me. I think mine keeps quitting out of the chat room. That's wonderful. Yeah, there's more chat over there, I think, than what's showing up. Oh. So I don't know what's happening. It's probably our Wi-Fi on this, this computer. Ah, oh, let I me died. see. It might be that Wi-Fi issue again. Maybe. Ugh. I died on purpose, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. Nope. No problems? Mm, not the normal one. Just issues. Actually, I dropped down the stream to a thousand kilobits per second today mm. um, because it was still giving me troubles. Mm. So for the past two episodes, um, we've had um, issues. Jesus. Um, with the full speed of the three megabits per second. Mm -hmm. So I was like, uh, I'm not going to take any chances. Uh, no, I knew it. I knew <laughs> it's it. It's funny, you have a good run, and then all of a sudden you're like, why can't I, why am I doing worse? Because <laughs> I declared that I was going to go to the end. Yeah. The little character? Yeah, He's I like the He's got really good animation. Yeah, he does. He's, little, He's a little bouncy. Bouncy guy. He's got nice. eyeballs that look back and forth. Oh, does he? Oh, he does. Yeah. And the umbrella is super cute, The umbrella cute is too. cute. Yeah, it's really nice. Simple and nice. That's what you got to do. Yeah. The cats are licking each other. Uh, dominance. Play. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that. And that. Is there two in a row there? One blip blip. Oh, and that. Got to watch out for that platform one. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. That was, that was That's how you got to do that edge one. You got to drop in mm -hmm. on it. Oh. You can't be that. You have to be further away from the sun to do that. Or closer to the sun. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing well this time. Oh, my card is just the cover of volume four book pick. Oh, so no nice. picture of you? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, you have to time that really well. There you go. Good job. Pixel. Oh, hello, Pixel. Hi. He's Blinky. Is he? Oh, yeah, happy cat. You're being cat. cute. Are you here to... Um, Annoy. To be sweet, or are you here to cause trouble? Uh, mostly trouble, yeah. but I'll be sweet for a tiny bit. Sweet very briefly, and then he'll Get start it. jumping on all the equipment. Yeah, as soon as he gets jump, oh, nice, yes, but I'm trying to get a score. <laughs> Very cute cat. Yeah. <laughs> rub, rub, rub. Yeah. Oh, God. Nope. Oh. Aww. Last life. He's like, I'm here to jinx you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good timing for that one. There you go. Oh, they're all over on the right-hand side? All of them? Thanks. Oh, all of them. <gasps> oh, All my the goodness. Bees. All the bees. Beehive? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Who challenge. A oh, challenge. Oh, gosh. Now the sun is going to be over there. Oh. It's got to be the last level. This is too mean. It is mean. You back oh, at the beginning? I did. I looped. Yeah. It's not finished yet, then. Yeah. Why did you suddenly stop? Because I died. No, you didn't die. <sighs> oh, no. You just died? Yeah. I just died. It didn't loop, though? It did, which is weird, right? Okay, oh, I'm going to play anyway. again. Because <laughs> <laughs> something went wrong at the wrong time, the exact wrong time, when mm. now we can't really tell whether I died or it had mm. a bug or what. Because I died when I finished, and it went back to cherries, I think. So it looks like the B level is the last level. Supposedly there's a princess somewhere that you're supposed to rescue. At the very end, maybe? Yeah, at the very end. Or is end. that just the narrative of it? It might just be the narrative. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you rescued the princess because you got all the B things. Oh, my goodness, fighting. Fighting time at the cat, cat mm. corral. <laughs> yeah, there's a showdown going on at the lower part of your screen there. If you're at all interested <laughs> in the cat fight in that the is cat happening, fight. it's your like uh, literal cat fight. Second tier entertainment yeah. for the evening. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, we'd like to have a game, <laughs> conversation, and cats fighting at the bottom <laughs> hand, the bottom uh, yeah. oh. left hand part oh. of the screen. Oh, they're slightly off screen now. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's back. Oh, oh, now they're, yeah, they're really fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to the chat room. Oh, it's cutting in and out. It eh? is, yeah, and I can tell, I can tell on the stream we're not getting all the chat. Mmm, uh-oh. Well, make sure you don't miss any then. <laughs> Bug, oops, reached the end. <sighs> what is going on? Yeah, it keeps dropping out. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, I knew I was going to hit. Damn it. Mm -hmm. First death. Not too bad. So you can tell we we're really enjoying a game when a very simple game starts <laughs> oh. to take up a very large part of the stream. <laughs> That's right. It's like, yes, too good. We're so close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Metal Lunar. I'm going to die. Yeah, we're oh, I didn't. So close. Go, 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 go. Yes. So I, he's definitely not going to take out the stuff on the right-hand side mm. for anyone because that's part of the end of the game. Mm. That's the challenge at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah, just zooming through the balloon that level. Yeah. Nice. Oh, no! <gasps> Still got a couple of lives there. Three, I think, actually. Yeah, technically, yeah, it's three. Yeah. Oh, God. You get stuck. Ah. You get stuck at that back because the sun, you get stuck behind the sun. Yeah. You really do have to get ahead of the sun. You have to use that. Um... Nice. Oh, the Watch sun's out, the come. sun's looping. Yep. Looping. Nope, 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 nope. <gasps> sun's looping. Oh, it almost starts you off with. <sighs> Ooh. <gasps> oh, I made it. Now what do I do? You this have to is get totally past. different. Oh my goodness, you have to jump oh, up. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. jeez. Okay. Be very careful. I'm going to jump now. Oof. Oof. I can just bit. Oh, what? <gasps> you can't touch it. You have to get all the way over? What? Oh, what? You still have a life. Two lives. Well, do you then have I'm to gonna... float all the way above it? Oh, that's awful. I'm gonna wait for it to come. Oh down no! Now. You go, you go up and down and through that hole. I oh bet that's what God. you have to do. You have to, you really? have to jump over two and float down and get through the hole and get to the princess. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wait because now I have a chance. Yeah, that's. I bet that's what you have to do. You probably can't jump all three. There you go. Oh, so close! No! Oh. <laughs> See it reset. Oh, you're back to zero. No, no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> See, I didn't but we understand. saw the princess. We, we know. We know how to get there. You want to try again? Yeah, you I do. do. I I'm do. not gonna. I'm not gonna make it to to the point you did. So you might as well uh, reunite him with his princess. I need all the lives. <laughs> I almost made it on my my last attempt, though. So. Aww. I'm very practiced at this right-hand side of the screen stuff now because you're forced to by uh, the end level. Mm. So we saw the end. It was so close. Oh. Ah! I think you're right. You have to jump through the whole thing. Yeah. Without. Yeah. Touching the ground, you have you to have touch to, the you princess. You have to float and then just poof, go right across. Yeah. Well, maybe you can touch the ground, but you probably can't eh. go straight to the princess. I died when I touched the ground. No, you 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 died when you you, you were impaled on the on the. Oh, was the I? Thing. Yes, you were you for sure. sure. You touched it. Yes, you most certainly touched it. <laughs> I I was paying attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you most certainly touched it. So I think you so just need to get I past. So should I try for not? touching the ground then or try and touch the ground i i don't know but try to just go straight for the princess 
Yeah. Because you you touched one of the sticky things. Okay. That's that's why you died. That it wasn't it wasn't you touching the ground. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you touched that little bit of a sticky thing at the end there. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, jeez. Oh, doesn't take too long to get to the end of the mm. game, so. I think you get more points as time goes on. Mm hmm. You get like one point on level one, and. And then you get more. Two yeah. points on level two, or something like that, because it ends up at like 400 points. Like exactly 400, so we know exactly mm. when the game ends. Balloons! It's a low balloon. No, it's a high balloon. Oh, come back, high balloon. <laughs> there he is. You feel a little bit like a ball bouncing up and down. You do. Oh, oh lemon. Lemonish. No. Ah. <gasps> mm -hmm. uh, no, it's not good. It's not good at all. You're very close to the end, though. I am. Oh. Sun's coming anyway. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Oh, well, you might be right. Yeah. So I'm going to jump over to them. Try two and then through the hole. I yeah. don't think you're going to make it. Oh, I got an extra life or something. I yeah, think. you did. Well, 398? Yeah. So it's not 400. It's like some well, other... No, don't. Just float the whole way down. You said, go for the floor, and no, it's fine. No, I did not. No, no, no. <laughs> I said you were impaled there. Don't hit the floor in the middle. Oh, in the middle. Uh, th th yeah, don't. You you, you <sighs> said, oh, I touched the floor. To no, you touched the wall. It's slightly raised, yeah. You touched that wall. That's why you died. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't mean touch the floor oh. in the middle. I meant you have to float over the wall, but you hit it. That's why you didn't. So keep floating the whole way. There you go. Yay! Yay! Completion, 100%. Yay! Yay. 400 points, Yay. whatever. One extra life. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Glad I went and played another mm -hmm. game of it. Yeah. Excellent. So Super fun. Very fun. Great game. Yeah. You made that in like two weeks. Oh, really? <laughs> that's so around cool. Around two weeks. Yeah, that yeah. Is, that's pretty cool. Um, so we're on to uh, our third game. Oh my god. Uh, I thought it would, today would be fast. This one, this next one is Raster Fan Dung. That is a very strange name. And it's actually a two-player game. Oh. Um, so I'm going to plug in the second joystick. If you can navigate to the game. Oof, fancy. Nope, no, they can't see it, so oh. it's not fancy yet. Well, it's fancy for us. You can hear it. <sighs> Raster fan dumb. There we go. How's the volume? A little loud. I, I swear this guy probably comes from the demo scene. Mm -hmm. Just looking at that. Very demo-esque. I love the scrolling very, very cool. um, checkerboard. Yeah, and the bouncing. I like very, it just very... for this. We don't even have to have a game. Yeah. and <laughs> It looks you, great. And if you can believe it, this game is 4K. Really? That includes this crazy really? intro screen. Yeah. Wow. Fancy is right. Yeah. Patch achieved. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I got the, what's the name of this other game? Mm. Very Del playable game for just two weeks. Yeah, I have no, I have no, I have no feedback for it either. It's pretty fun to play just the way it is. It works really yeah. well. It's it's got some jumps and it needs yeah. to pause when the just when it's going when it restarts when it restarts restarts. Yeah. yeah. Um, it needs an end screen and maybe a title screen. It's like well, congratulations, you got the princess yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that this one sweet. is made by Simon Quernhorse. Uh, known as Simon on the Atari Age forums. This is first posted February 27, 2007. This build is from March 11, 2007. It's a 4K game. Other games he's made is AVCS Tech Challenge, which is an awesome game. I own it on cartridge. Mm -hmm. I also made Encaved, uh, Kite, which... Uh, do I have 
that on cartridge? We have played Kite. I don't think I have cartridge. Mental Combat, which we are going to play, because mm. I just discovered he made that. And Raster Fandung, which we are playing now. Mm. And you can download this from Simon's website. Uh, he said, uh, Hi, the sale of the limited edition of my new VCS game, Raster Fandung, starts on Sunday, 11th of March, 2007. Uh, Raster Fandung is a puzzle game where you must locate patterns of six by six squares inside a play field of 32 by 20 squares you're probably going to okay. do a lot better than this on me than me mm -hmm. it's a pattern recognition game oh okay kite was a pal only game oh, okay i probably paid it played it on emulator then um sounds simple enough in theory but with the timer ticking down in the background you don't have the luxury of carefully scrutinizing the play field to locate the patterns and when you sneak a peek at the pattern by pressing the fire button in your joystick, the timer countdowns even, counts down even more quickly. Uh, you'll mm. see. It's confusing. Okay. The game starts with the creation of a random play field consisting of 32 by 20 squares. Your cursor is located in the middle of the board. Push and hold the fire button to display the 6x6 six six pattern you must match in the play field. You can use the joystick to move your cursor in all directions. Mm. Your cursor points to the top left of the corner of the 6x6 six six search pattern. Press the fire button when you believe you have found the correct position. If you're right, you receive points. If you're wrong, the required pattern is displayed again. In a simultaneous two-player game, both players must locate the same pattern, but each player can view the required pattern individually. The player who finds the correct position receives one point. Two-player game ends when the countdown timer reaches zero, or when one player managed to reach, is, reach nine points. So you don't get penalized mm. in two players. The left difficulty switch allows you to choose a game timing mode. Easy A, which is the opposite of normal, uh, um, uh, selects the fixed timer limit per level, starting at 90 and decreasing to 5 per level until the minimum of 20 seconds is reached. All the following levels are for 20 seconds. The timer on hard B setting starts at 90 seconds, and you have to find as many patterns as possible within this period. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, we're switching to A, uh, which is super unusual that easy is on A. That's that's the opposite. Is it usually A? Yeah, it's hard. Um, B for beginner, A for advanced. Bias Ramirez. Bias mm -hmm. Ramirez, thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll get you to play a very short game mm -hmm. by yourself. So if you press the button, you might start it. Yeah. So it generates the play field, and you press the button to see your pattern. And it counts down faster what? when you press the button. That's the pattern you need to find in this play field. I think I see it. Yep. Left side. There. Somewhere around there. I think he's got that backwards. That didn't reset at 90 seconds. Oh. I have to switch it back then. I think he switched it around. Hi. It's a pixel. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, the story of Raster Fandung. While producing the limited edition of AVCS Tech Challenge, I pondered about the next game project and thought a game for either one or two players simultaneously would be nice. I already programmed some small demo effects, one of them being a rotating chessboard tube. The demo effects in the intro of Raster Fandung now and the chessboard led to the idea of searching small patterns inside a board with a big pattern. I considered if such game would be possible in the Atari 2600 because of the limited RAM of only 128 bytes would have a direct influence on the size of the pattern. The end. Oh, didn't find it in time? No. I think it's it, backwards. It, it, uh, it scrolled down really fast, so... Interesting. Yeah, because it didn't reset the 90. I think he changed the, the pattern. Um, well, the main display routine proved to be possible. All the game elements were added as well as one or two player option. The game title itself is a German description of the game's objective. Mm. 85 seconds. Yeah, now it's proper. Um, to search for a specific pattern, but normally it's used by the police. 
The expression Rasterfeindung itself was a German bad word of the year 1980, may be translated to Dragnet Investigation. That's what the game title means. That makes mm. sense now. As 1980 was about the time the Atari VCS being strong, I considered the title being perfect. Hi. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. The cartridge starts up with displaying the bouncing game logo and two rotating chessboard tubes. After some seconds, the Atari displays copyright information along with a conversion of my Denker 2000 picture, which I first drew some years ago on the C64. I'm having a hard time with this one. Yeah. Almost out of time. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. So good. The end. No, that one I... It's too hard. Okay, let's play two player. Interesting. Oh, just as he sat down and he's being cute. Oh, I have to switch to look two at player. this white look at this white cat. Black and white cat. Oh. Oh my goodness. So cute. Why are you being so cute? Usually you're mean. I'm sorry. Oh. Being so cute. <laughs> no, 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 don't go. How do we play two player? Maybe I press the Oh, I don't know. Are they both I hooked do. in? Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. go. So I don't need to get up. Let's move a little bit over. There we go. Okay, so we both have the same timer. I didn't quite see it. How come I can't go right to the bottom? I can't go straight to the bottom. Oh, is the because I don't need to. Uh, mm, 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 hmm. Hmm. What? I don't see that anywhere. Oh, I love you too, yes. Where is that? Is it here? This must be cooperative because we have the same timer. I don't know. Kitten! Here? Oh, he's he's picking where I'm going to go. I think it's next. here. No. <laughs> oh my <Kitten>. god. <laughs> <laughs> He keeps rubbing my joystick. Where is it? I don't see that long piece and then... <laughs> That's the end. terrible. Oh, hi. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. Watch out. There's a cat on your butt. I know. He likes to move butt in cat. Over. Come hi. here. Hi. Hi. Ready? Again? Yeah. Generate Red Eddie. Okay. Hopefully this one's a little bit easier. Oh, upside down cross. No, don't waste our time. Why? Oh, there it is. You saw it. Yay. Red Eddy. Red Eddy. Oh, boy. Uh, is it around here? Oh, this game's so hard. Oh, is it here? Kind of looks like here. No. Yeah, it's like there. Oh, you got it. Good. It was around there. Erin Foot says, I don't get it. <laughs> um, Ardeo is garbled. No? That's the noise it makes. Our audio is garbled. Check. One, two, one, two. How are we sounding? Check, check, check. You have to match the thing that we're seeing on the screen. Uh, oh, you got it. Good job. You are fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the audio is just ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, nice. A two pattern. Sorry. Oh yeah, that's it. That's for it. sure. Around there. Nice. Sounds good here. It's just you. Oh. I guess. Um hmm. Oh boy. You can you can hit it again if you uh, You have to match that to what you're seeing. Damn it see that anywhere. We're gonna die. 
<laughs> this one is not an obvious yeah sometimes one. there's a, a pattern that you can kind of flash into your brain yeah but you also have to think you don't see it. the edges on all the other sides yeah. so usually the center thing is what you try and go for Ugh. oh i don't see it Yeah, six, sorry. One, zero. The end. Oh. I'm going to let you pretty good. Me? play one more. Yeah, by myself? I, I knew this one wouldn't be long because it's hard. Hard, hard, mm. hard. Um, yeah, I think you can press the button to start over. No, I have to, oh, no. I have to press reset. Make those title screen and... I like that, where the play first player presses mm. the button for a one-player game, and you press the mm. button on the second joystick for a two-player game. This is bad. Um, uh, technical details. The game is written in 6507 assembly. It consists of four kilobytes. Um, BCS only offers 128 bytes of RAM, of which 80 bytes are used for the random play field alone. Yeah, you do bites, bites, bite, 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 bite. Remaining space. Oh, good job. That remaining was hard. space uh, is needed for the position coordinates of the players, the scores, the timer, the small pattern, and some technical information. Creating the excerpt of the small pattern from the random play field uses a lot of bit shifting due to the complex way the Atari handles its display. Yeah. Every second value is stored within the bits in reverse order, for example. Every second value. Really? That's strange. Um, due to the differences between PAL and NTSC consoles, the game needed to be adjusted for both TV standards. The first development version was PAL format, 312 lines, and converted to NTSC, 262 lines afterwards. And uh, let's see. The game was released with a limited edition, 75 copies first. The limited edition contains these items. A PAL slash NTSC cartridge, Plastic box, instruction manual, uh, photo print, serial number, and signature. Every limited edition cartridge contains a switch on the back. Wow. To choose between PAL or NTSC. It had a switch that worked for both. Wow. Two, one, zero, the end. It is. Oh, I'll, oh good. Oh, it was just not in the right spot. Damn oh, it. Add, oh, you can look at it after. Well, just to see, tease you. Look. Yeah. Yeah, that's the spot. But I had that spot. Oh. I could have sworn I had that spot. Game, I don't know. The game disagrees. Yeah. Um, mm. Beneath the limited edition of 75 copies, an unlimited run, normal and cartridge and manual only, will supply as many copies as requested. Um, so I believe this is on... It was sold on Good Deal Games. It might still be. And I think it's sold on Atari Age as well. So if you like this and like to be tortured with puzzle games oh wow which this I is do. the game for you <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes, you do. Ooh, that one's not too bad it's kind of got an e oh you found it nice you don't get bonus it just no. gets five seconds you less lose each time five. yeah i know so it's like you're good at this you're gonna get less time <laughs> to add difficulty it doesn't need it you could invert the pixels terrible you could you can make a version where it inverts the picture you're needing to find I don't, Ooh, there's like nothing. a little character dude with two eyeballs that are tall and short it's got to be easy to find no oh that's it nice <laughs> oh it started over did it start nope. over every time no you've got a score and the countdown timer is at 70 now Wow, you're getting really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not terrible at pattern recognition. Exactly. Tasks. Ooh, that one's not bad. It's got no, a it's long terrible. Bar. I don't like that at all. Long downward oh. bar. There, top, middle. What? That. That is a long bar going down. But it's that. What? Yep. Up over. Two players. <laughs> Tag team. See, you only Tag need one controller really. Both people can. Oh, that's easy. That's right there. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you have a nice, strong middle piece, ooh, that's not too bad. It's a big middle top. 
Yeah, it's like a puppy. Yeah, oh. <laughs> like a puppy. No. It looks like a puppy. Je ne comprends pas. <laughs> you find, you press the button, it shows you a pattern. Yeah, you have to find the pattern. And you find the pattern. Bottom right. What? Bottom right? There, right around there. Down, over, left. Up, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no I don't oh. like that that's not good I don't know what to do with that oh I, damn I do uh, I just have okay. to find it oh is it that one I need to look at it again I think it's up just a little bit up just a little bit. There. There. there no down right yeah I think that's that's no. it down, down to the right, just a little bit. Down, right, there, over, over a bit, there, right around there. Down, press one, over. Oh no! <laughs> it's right around there, I think. Yeah, you're right. Is it? it is. I was. I just needed to that be is over. That is over to the left one. Yeah. Well, four hundred and one. Yeah, you click anywhere to see the pattern that yeah, you're trying to but find. But then you lose time. So yeah. the more you stare at the pattern, tick, 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 but tick, like tick. the more distinctive the pattern is, if if it's something you can implant your brain then it's easier but if it's really random it's like you're trying if to just pick dots, out pick yeah. out some detail in it that you can search for yeah but then you have to anything around the pattern could be white or black and it so it throws you off it does throw you yeah. off wow that's really cool it is quite the game yeah you just click anywhere on the pattern so you're picking a square so you're picking the left corner i actually like your when we were playing two player, you yeah. had the arrow. The yeah. arrow was closer to the edge. Do you see how there's like spillover? Yeah. It's really it confusing. It should actually be right. Pointing right on the edge. Right on the right on the outline of the square. So it makes the corner, right? Yeah. yeah. But it actually is really interesting that instead of having like a big square, yeah. you just have the corner edge because it makes it a hell of a lot harder to figure out where the edge of that corner should be. If it was an actual square, you would just reproduce it, right? In the square. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you wouldn't but, be able to do that in this. On no, the but, but the fact that it's just the corner makes it even harder because you can't outline it. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, very cool. So the result of the poll is yes i'm gonna keep saying the name <laughs> 60 what was 66. it 66.7 percent nice. said yes yeah nice 23 said don't care yeah. so that adds up to 80 90 90 exactly almost percent uh 90 percent say yes or don't care mm. so only nine said no i don't like hearing the names all the, the names read out yeah <laughs> there we go thank you arena foot for yeah. uh linking that so we're going to move on to game number four, mm -hmm. which is Breakanoid by Mr. SQL. Mm. Um, as you can probably figure out mm. by, it's just a one player game, by the title, it's a breakout Arkanoid type mm. game. Ready. Toasty, toasty, roasty here. Are you okay? Oh yeah, okay. 26 degrees, only went up half a degree. Okay. So. That's pretty high for an indoor space, though. It is. Other games. He, this was first posted December 15th, 2011. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. I know. It's not. That's why I'm playing. Oh! You'll see what the difference is in a second. It's very jumpy. There is jumps. Unfortunately. unfortunately. You guide the ball with your paddle at the same time. Do you? Yeah. So you can guide it at the top where you want it to go, which is very, very cool. Oh, weird. So if you're trying to get it in some spot, you can kind of nudge it in. It's almost like pinball, where you kind of bump the table. Um, so this is an 8K F8 SC game. Uh, Supercharger. It's uh, first posted December 15th, and this builds from December 22nd. This is the demo build. Oh. Other games he's made, 10 Line Blitz, Berserker Friendly Fire, Br Breakanoi, Breakout 2000, Breakout 2002, Laser Beam, Cityscape, Defender 3, Dodger Panoramic Adventure, Gate Crasher 2, Gates, Casey Munchkin, Casey Munchkin Monster Maze, Pixel, Scroll Annoyed, Scroll Out, Fluid City, Simon Says Touch Me, Star Blitz, Starfleet Simulation, Supercharger Space Invaders. You can download this the Atari Age forums. 
Um, and after I announced uh, that I said we'd be playing it on the stream, Mr. SQL messaged me with a version of the game that has some additional levels that we can play after this. Oh, nice. Um, and the alternate levels... Oh, game over. I, but I didn't lose it. It was on the panel. Lies. Lies. No, that is absolutely true. It was. on a throne of lies. <laughs> you weren't watching. No, Anyone else out there see that? <laughs> I, I, it didn't pass the paddle. It was on the paddle. That's I bizarre. I don't know. I didn't see it. Uh, not that I could tell. Um, the alternate level version was designed by Tremolo Man. So let me bring up the instructions for this. Nope. Redo the poll when you get to 100 subscribers. Ooh, yeah. I think I'd do it before that. <laughs> That's a lot of names to read out. Nice. Oh, <laughs> it's weird. You control it, but not quite. Yeah, because if you're trying to get it as it's moving to the right, you no. know what? If it hits the corner, it falls off. It didn't hit the corner. It went past the corner by one. No, Just no, like but it, that it there, looks it like it should be bouncing off the edge, but it goes through. Like it. it mm. Yeah, that's what happened. It looked it, like it hit if it. You're trying. If you you're have to hit it in the middle. Yeah. You can't hit it on the corner. Because if you're going to the right, you're also pushing it to the right. No, but I, I, I was really not moving. Okay. Like, I think if you if you hit it right off the edge, it will... Um... Yeah, you want it in the center. Yeah, for sure. Introducing... See, it break... just did it again. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I didn't see it. It froze. I didn't see it. That's... Like, I wasn't moving. I was up against the edge. Hmm... Were you? And it passed by you? It, 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 you were slammed against yeah. the edge? I was right against the edge, and it, it seemed to go through mm. the corner edge of it. This Arkanoid-style sequel turns up the action with a magnetic paddle to bring new f level of fast-based fun to the Pong genre. The ball still follows the laws of physics, but you can put it English on it. Throw a curved ball or whip it around a corner or over a ledge. It's like having an elastic leash on the ball. It's the same uh, demo includes There's the first three levels of the there. game. Uh, full version of Breakanoid has all 15 levels. Does anybody besides Mr. SQL make Supercharger games? I swear I saw another Supercharger. Thank you, Metal Atari. <laughs> Thank you very much. She's I am getting wrong. He's he's like, oh well, you must be doing it wrong because he's staring at his screen here. I'm like, yeah, no, there is something funny happening. <laughs> it's not just me. He can play it, and you'll hear him complain the whole time. So it's usually what happens. <laughs> yes. It's like well, it's just you, and then I play. It, it's like this game's unfair. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Um, so the, the full version had some level designs. They had a contest for the level designs by the Artari Age community. Oh! Um, <laughs> Went crazy. And it also has the Breakanoid construction kit. And you can make your own levels. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's see... Breakanoid comes with an instructions. This is all for the bot version of it. Um, about Breakanoid. Breakanoid is a fast-paced, arcade-style, action-packed fun game for the Atari 2600 that I've been wanting to play since the 1980s. This type of game only appeared on other systems. During the 1980s, I wrote video games under my own label and for many software houses. I loved playing the games as well as writing them and was a big fan of the 2600 because it's uh, uh, because on because of its good games, the action was unrivaled. The games are fast, colorful, and a great arcade sound effects. My turn. You get to read. Okay. I know. That I... paragraph. Okay. Arkanoid. Arkanoid was one of my favorite games of the 80s, and I would have loved to have played it on the 2600. Other developers have told me that the 2600 simply wasn't powerful enough. But it seems to me that the 2600's unique hardware makes it the ultimate king for king of Pong for building this kind of game. The sequel changes the oh rules, adding God. tilt like in pinball, bringing a new level of fast-paced action to the genre. The ball still follows the laws of physics, but you can put an English 
on it, provided your paddle has room to move. This is great for throwing a curveball up into the upper reaches of the board to hit those last stubborn bricks, or to whip the ball around a corner or over an edge into a structure where it can get st stuck bouncing around, so you can have fun watching it break out. It's like having an elastic leash on the ball. In Breakanoid, you have four lives, but you are in control of the ending. After you lose your last life, you can either start a new game or keep playing through as long as you'd like. What? Really? Yeah, apparently. How do you do that? I'll we'll have to try that after I die. Maybe the full maybe the full version you can. Yes. Maybe not the demo. Get get up there and get those. Get them. Get uh Uh, if there's more, yeah. Pre-order your brick annoyed no. now in 20 2006. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. <laughs> I don't know if it's still mm, for playable sale. Playable demo. Playable demo is a fully functional preview containing the first three levels of the game. Fully functional, so mm -hmm. we should be able to continue. Ah, uh, okay. So now I've died. I've died. So... How do we continue? Continue. Can make the magnetic paddle optional. You can toggle it on and off during play. Color black and white switch. Maybe it's select. Oh, it is. Nice. Mm. So we'll get to see all the levels. Nice. And cheat our way all the way up. Yay, <laughs> cheating. Because I don't know if we'll ever... Sanction cheating, but cheating. That's right. It... Oh. See? See? It huh? went off the mm. paddle. No, it, it did not. Edge. No, it did not. It's my own bad gameplay. <laughs> It's really fun. You can steer it into where you want it to go. Mm. It's a bit of screen jump with this. Um, he oh, did it is a little jumpy. He yeah. did send me one that said it, it fixed the screen jump, but it was yeah. it was exactly the same, unfortunately. It's not bad. It's just a little... Oh! You do want... Uh, if you could read the part with mm. uh, down a bit with mm. all the different S's. See, that was off my paddle. Where? We're in the forum. No, you're too... Do you lose it? Those. Right there. Oh, oh. It tells you what it's everything very does. Very hard to read. Oh, well, we press the button. Pre click on it. It'll get bigger. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, the red S. This power up lets you catch the ball, use it to pos position the next volley. Blue fastball. This power up speeds up the action. I don't want blue. <laughs> Pink speed ball. Maybe too fast. You can catch the blue one to slow the action a bit. Pink and what? Pink and blue. Oh, Blue's I don't want fast. Pink. pink is super fast. I don't want pink or blue. Green though. laser cannons. This power up <gasps> lets you blast through the bricks while you play. I want green. Yellow extra life. Very rare, or just rare, but. Oh, don't want a pink. Speed ball. Um, don't want pink. You will need to catch these to make it through all the levels. And gray is a mystery power up. It could be any of the above. Oh, uh, so I just so, want what? So green? red. Green, yellow. Would I don't be... need to catch it. Oh, green. Green was a laser? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Red? It doesn't change. It doesn't stop until no. you have... Green. Oh, I don't think I, I got don't it see there any laser cannons. Red, green. Maybe I missed it. Oh, I bounced off the wall. Need to get it up there. Oh. Get in there. Oh. Uh, actually, I don't even know can't. if there's any room. Maybe That might room. be the top of the screen. Yeah, there's probably no room. Find out pretty soon. Oh. Mm. Nope, don't want blue. Just want greens. Green, yellow. Green and yellow. Okay. And red is fine, too. Green and yellow. You have to catch it. Yeah. Red. Kind of takes out bricks, like you can mm. like smash into them. Mm -hmm. Smash, smash. So if you oh. S power up is score. No, it, it's, it's just a It's a variety of power yeah. ups. So it depends on the color of the S. Yeah, it's a very jumpy screen. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's line counter. Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, uh, dead. I'll let you finish off the level. Me? Yeah, if you don't count the things, the, the what you're drawing on the screen, entirely perfect. No! 
Um, it'll add too many lines, and then the screen won't know what to do with it. <laughs> You're crazy. Me? I'm okay. trying to. I'm trying to control it a little. Oh, you made it somehow to the next level, and it has Mr. SQL's name in it. Oh. Oof, not much room to oh. get it back. Gotta be prepared. Oh! <laughs> right off the edge. Definitely need to continue on this, this level. And the sounds are really good. See, right on the edge. Especially when it's game over, it sounds like a dragon breathing. <sighs> Oh, okay. no! That's okay. There we go. Excellent game! Very, very fun. Um, I like the addition. Yeah. And um, of the um, the English, as he calls it. Or the tilt. The tilt, yeah, where yeah. you can control it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It does look like it's missing the battle. Yeah, it, 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 it it's, it's, I think it's meant to demonstrate, like, show that it's cutting off the edge but it mm. looks like it should bounce off of it because mm. it's right on the corner it's not off to, the corner it's on the corner you have to analyze it frame by frame uh, to thought, see where but the sometimes ball... it bounces and that's what's weird sometimes it seems to bounce and sometimes it dies right Is on it, the corner it may be coming down like this and then it's no, there it's, it's coming down and then on it the goes edge. to the side it's of going it. that way but it looks like Based on the positioning, it has hit it and should bounce off. But right. that's what I mean. It's it's a little bizarre. It's a little weird. Well, the calculating so, of it hitting might be done at a different time. That's what I mean. Than the positioning. Yeah. 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 And so, But it feels wrong. It doesn't feel like... Like, that's happened to you, too. It feels like it should oh, be bouncing yeah. off. Yeah. But anyway, uh, other than that, it seems to work pretty well. Yeah. And power-ups are very cool. Yes. Because um, I don't know... If there are other Arkanoid-style games where there's power-ups and breakout, mm. but uh, this is a, a very different spin on it. Very cool. So we're on to the last game, mm -hmm. which is Activision Boxing. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. We're going to use actual cartridge. Hopefully it works. It doesn't... Oh, I saw something on the screen. Ready. Me? Yep. It's very, very simple rules. Okay. Unfortunately, we have to get up and press game reset every time. Uh, I think. Press button? No. Um, so let me get this on the screen. Boxing. So this is made in 1980. Whoop. So it's just the button. Button to punch. There you go. Got two points on them already. Tanya is the white. In the white trunks. Um, it's a 2K game. Oh, points already. Uh, made in 1980 by Bob Whitehead. Other games by Bob Whitehead. Home Run, Football, Blackjack, Casino, Starship, Video Chess, what? Boxing, you Stampede. 14? You punched you a bunch of times. What? Um, close punches are worth two points. One Far punches are worth just one. So oh, if you get fair. close and you start punching them, you get a lot more points. Stampede, Chopper Command, Private Eye, Skiing, and Sky Jinx. So we've got the uh, patch for a number of those. <laughs> the D-Train. Oh, I just got here. What did I miss? All the homebrew games. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> yeah. Now James is going for the patch in boxing. You missed the game by Tom. Tom. So this is the patch we are going for. Activision Knockout Kings. This is a homebrew patch, and it is offered for $5 in the Atari Age forums. And I think you should have to knock him out. How do you, how do you knock him out? You have to get 100 points. Oh, You're Jesus. halfway there. In, in one, one round? Yeah, it's only one round. Very, very achievable. You only Maybe. have to hit him 50 times. More times. More times. If you go for one point at a time. Yeah. Oh. 
Boxing is an Atari 2600 video game interpretation of the sport of boxing, developed by Activision programmer Bob Whitehead. The game is based on Boxer, an unreleased 1978 arcade game from Whitehead's previous employer, Atari. Boxer was written by... Oh, you won. won. <laughs> yeah. The trick is to get them against the rope and move slightly up and down, maybe yes. a little forward to get a chain of hits. Uh, that's that's the key. Gotcha. Is that it? That's the game. Oh my goodness. It's coming in. My turn again? Oh. Yeah, I have to read some more. Boxer was written by Mike Alba, who also wrote the through, chain of hits on me. Drag Race for Atari, a game clothed by Activision as Dragster. Um I don't I don't get the I was doing better last time. <laughs> yes you were. I don't listen to the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get him on the ropes. Yes. Oh that's what you're trying to do? Yeah. And you're not... No, it was did not help me. Not at all. There must be a way to Oh, thanks for the link to the Activision uh the homebrew patches for I'm Activision. restart. That's terrible. That did not help me at all. Oh, good double hit there. No, it's terrible. No, it's terrible. Look at my score. It's useless. And he's going to knock you out. Well, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, yeah, we have the uh, switches. What? Oh, they're back to normal. Okay, never mind. We have them in B, B mode, which is normal speed. In A, it's slower speed. Is it? Yeah, so this is... This is normal. Normal this speed? This is what you I, should be doing? I guess so. Long jabs are one point each. Uh, close power punches are two point each. Each, 100 points is a knockout. It's tough, but you can do it, it says in the manual. Sure Best score can. at the end is, of the match is the winner. Ooh, I'm not going to win. No. Massive disadvantage. Scoring points. When you get near enough to your opponent, throw a punch. Press the red button. Each punch moves your opponent slightly back and away from the punch. If you move him to the ropes, he can't, can't easily duck, get the next punch. You can set up some real scoring barrage. But don't get caught on the ropes yourself. I didn't... I don't... yeah. So I'm right mm -hmm. there in the second paragraph of that part. Uh, Watch your distance. If you move in too close, the computer gets tougher, but if you're too far away, you can't land scoring punches. Give yourself a fighting chance. Put your difficulty setting the left one down to B and set the computer's difficulty control the right one up to A. Um, and then when you're ready for a really tough bout, set the computer on at B and see how well you do. Well, he's on B right now. Is he? Yeah. That's what I... Yeah. yeah I just got a barrage of punches in there. Mm. There. Tips from Bob Whitehead, the designer there, of look. boxing. Oh, yeah. you missed the whole thing. Well, yeah, you're asking me to read stuff. <laughs> um, oh, he's catching up. Oh. oh. He is catching up. Oh, oh, that was good. That was a good string. Oh no! Get him back! Get him! You can do it. I know you can. Yeah, there's definitely a pattern. Ugh. Oh no! Almost there! Yeah! <laughs> it was like the first time. First time knockout! <laughs> Woo! Yes, Miss Command. Just noticed my tattoo. Yeah, it's pretty. I got it on Wednesday. Yeah. It's very it's, itchy. <laughs> it's, uh, what are the flowers? Magnolias. Magnolias. Yeah. yeah. That was my, I had a week off work and that was my present to My yourself? vacation, apparently. <laughs> Patch winner! Woo! Knockout! Deserved. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you definitely need to at least get knockout to earn the Me? Patch. Yeah, yeah. Because just winning. Yeah. Is you won on your first game. Yeah. So that's not 
not enough. Yeah, but what's funny is my both of both. Maybe it was I was playing conservatively. You were because and just not diving I in won, on but my score on both sides weren't as high. Like, so I you were probably playing, right in there and just trying to trying to get lots of hits in. So it doesn't seem like I was not like playing conservatively. Hard. No, because he got ninety hits on me. Yeah, you were very close yeah. the whole way through, but yeah. you just kept hitting, hitting, hitting. Yeah, interesting. The world record. Yeah, that's so southern. Yeah. <laughs> on this, the world record on this is a hundred points to zero, mm. with a one minute and forty seven seconds left. That means you got a hundred hits he got zero hits on you and you went boom 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 pretty much the whole game that's the world record on this what was it the score a hundred yeah. to zero. Oh my goodness this is a hundred to 90 so we knocked out with with no hits no hits with a minute 47 left oh <laughs> wow i mean i can see it it's just pattern right okay you play Me? again oh. And I'm going to read out my patch letter. Oh, yeah, do it. <laughs> because I'm the one who wrote it. <laughs> you wrote the patch letter? Yes. Funny. I wrote the patch letter for this. Oh, I have to reset. Hold on. Is it reset, right? Reset? Yep. yep. Okay. Ah! Comes at you right away. <laughs> okay. Oh, not going well. Where is it? Oh, I know where it is. Let's see. Zero page. Activision letters. Boxing. I'll print it out. Now that I... Uh, oh, I closed it. Jesus. Why do I keep closing it? There we go. File. Print. Let's get ready to rumble. And the winner by knockout in the first round, James the Hurricane <laughs> O'Brien. Nice. Woo! But I'm like bloodied and like almost on the ground crawling. He hit me 90 times. Like it was a rough go. <laughs> I just... I put up no defenses. I was just punching, 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 punching. Nice, nice. Got a couple round, a couple punches in there. Oh, now he's beating you. No. Oh. James, the Canadian cruiser, O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my official, unofficial. Homebrew Activision patch letter. Wait till you're done. 13 seconds left. You're beating him. Stay on top. Oh, beating him by one still. Two. I'm not going to knock him out though. Oh, no. <gasps> nice. Got a couple punches in. Oh, Almost just... did. 82. <sighs> Dear Knockout King, you've trained your whole life for this and everything you've ever done has led to this moment. Nice. The long hours of preparation have paid off, and tonight is the championship fight. Mm -hmm. Don't get too cocky, because your opponent is just as determined as you for the w a win in the ring. You throw off your robe as you step through the ropes into the arena of battle as your coach slaps your back with encouragement. His words seem distant as you stare down your opponent from across the canvassed ring. Mm -hmm. Your only goal is to emerge the victor, no matter what the cost. Mm -hmm. You touch gloves, and the bell rings. You're laser focused. You duck and weave past his flying fists for seems like eternity before you're able to return the favor. You start to connect with a series of long jabs, left, right. You close in with him against the ropes and deliver a power punch, and he stumbles and goes down. Nine, ten. The referee lifts your arm in triumph. You're. N oh, there's a mistake here. Oh, no. <laughs> is it the missing? You're the new boxing championship champion of the world. Enclosed is your patch. Knockout King. Wear it proudly because you've earned it through skill and sheer determination. Always remember that there's someone right behind you ready to take you down. So keep light on your toes and always come out swinging. Respectfully yours, Jan Marcella, ring, ringside announcer. Nice. This letter and patch are not official, not affiliated with the Activision are for, for amusement only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is a mistake. I need to highlight that. That's terrible. 
your new boxing championship of the world. You're the new boxing champion of the world. <laughs> it's good I saw that. I'll have to send it. I don't think they've sent it out yet to anybody. They've sent out a couple patches, though. <laughs> They're all making fun. Tanya, the terrible tornado, O'Brien. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's fair to have to get knockout to earn the patch. Yeah. You shouldn't have to earn it by X number over top of the other person mm -hmm. or by a certain time. Some patches are easy to get for Activision. Some mm -hmm. are hard. I don't know. Maybe it's too easy. So I go to my first try. I think it's too easy. <laughs> I don't know. I'll discuss it with the people who made the patch. And see what, what they other, think. What other... But what are, what other milestones can you make? You can win by 50 points. That's I won true. by 10. Yeah. Or win by X and amount of time. Like, like knockout within a certain amount of time? And by a certain amount of points. Yeah. Like No, no, you have to... Well, yeah. Or it like could just both. be get a knockout within the first 30 seconds or something, which would be very hard. No, what was, no, the, what was the world record holder? Well, what, how long does it start with? Two minutes. So... It was a minute 40 something left. A minute 47 or something. It was crazy. Like you get, no, I can't, that can't be. That can't be. Because it's like a minute 47 now. Let me look at the. Oh, he's world actually records. hitting me. I was like just standing there. I'm like, is this whole two minutes going to go by without him landing a punch? Let's see what this is. James, reset Rage O'Brien! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like 142. One. 142 on BB, which is what we're playing. Wow. Really? A yeah. knockout by 142. Yeah. Yeah. Because it takes 50 hits. And you, you saw how fast that's, it goes back insane. and forth. Yeah, that's, all, that's you hard. You pretty much have to close in on him, yeah. like right away. And you have it. to go boom, 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 boom. And you somehow have to time it because his, his punches aren't timed perfectly. Like Look. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you got. Wow. But like that. But just over and over. Yeah. Like, like really get the pattern. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. I got 36 hits in, in that short period of time, right? Yeah. She James needs a silky so row. <laughs> I actually sent in my screenshot of boxing score KO back in the day since I did not mm -hmm. the manual to this one to know if there's a patch. Activision sent me a blank certificate of achievement mm. since there was no patch. Mm. Oh, interesting. So you kind of, you, you did earn something something for from them yeah that's yeah. really really cool that's very cool james reset rage o'brien yeah i like that that's really good <laughs> he does need a silky robe with ed says that yeah um <laughs> i don't know i'll think on that but because knockout is i don't know it's pretty simple well yeah i went i guess once you get the pattern of it did you play this back in the day uh very little yeah i played a lot more hockey than anything else. See, mm. I barely played and I got 46 points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But how much should they win by? Mm. At I least 50? I think you should get a knockout within a certain period of time. To me that shows yeah. you have mastery of the of the of the Cuz that also the gameplay. That also dictates how much time he's spending punching you too. Yeah. So that kind of takes care of yeah. the score yeah. aspect? Yeah. That's not that's not bad. Yeah. Um, I don't know what would be reasonable, but yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll be with uh, 30 seconds. Time. 30 seconds left on the clock. <clears throat> uh, or a minute? I don't know. Could you do it in a minute? No. Or is that too... too... You're going to have to try now. I think you could do it in a minute. I think it would be I think it would be a challenge, but I think you could do it in a minute. You're already at 41 and you're halfway. So a minute might not be a terrible goal. probably do it in a minute i've I think, got 70 i think you could do it in a minute i think that would be a challenge but i think it would be doable 
Yeah, 80. You hit 80 at one minute. Right. Do you think you could do a, a do do a knockout? Oh yeah. Yeah, with a little bit of practice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh oh oh! So close! So close! Almost there! Get him! Get him! Woo! Forty-three. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think that's a pretty good time. A pretty good time, yeah. To get a minute. Yeah. The goat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now he's trying for a minute. <laughs> well, I have to. If I'm going to dictate what the patch is. I know. I need to. Okay. This weekend, it's a long weekend. Okay. I forgot. I have Monday off. That's awesome. Uh, I am going to make you a Activ Activision sash. Uh -huh. That is going to be my goal this weekend. So, Come on, um, punch. Next week, you have Erlen and Darcy, I believe. Yeah. So that gives me a week to get something workable up before I come back on the Tuesday. So... I'm very excited. That's very good. Yeah, same for the big nose. <laughs> you, yeah. I was going to make a comment about biting off ears. That's a, a, bit, a bit old. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, well, this crowd is that old. <laughs> We're all that old, so yeah. they get it. Come on. Uh, reset. <laughs> Rage reset. Woo! <laughs> I didn't get it in a minute, so. <laughs> oh, turned around and. Yeah, that's that's my goal. I've already got some ideas. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I have to go yeah. to the fabric store. Hey, kitty. Well, it has to be colorful, like the Activision oh, rainbow. Oh, there's gonna be words on it. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna come. Come on, you. Can I pick you up, or are you going to do that? <sighs> Not doing well. Pixel's here for moral support. Yeah. He's black and white like the players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fits we're right going in. on a theme. We're going on a theme? Yeah, sweetie. Yeah. The sash! Yes! Reset. <laughs> you want me to? Yes, please. Oh, you're very close. You're very close to a knockout. There we go. 52. 52. I might as well keep going. Yeah. Yeah. If you reset, I get those extra seconds because I have to go back, sit down, and then he's already on me. Yeah. It's so annoying. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, sweetie. Oh, my goodness. What are you telling me? What? 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 What's up? Well, he he's threw up his lunch. Loving. I know. He's very loving right now. He's probably like, can you give me some food? Oh, sweetheart. Oh, welcome to the chat room. I'm missing stuff. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, there's stuff. Oh, what is going on? Yeah, I don't know what it is. My, um, my laptop is showing the chat, but it keeps kind of bouncing back and forth like, for some reason. I got a jean jacket. Where are we here? Several Christmases ago uh, to put Activision patches on, but I haven't bought many to have sewn on yet. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian! Yeah, all the boxing references are coming out now. Damn it! I can Pixels giving 57. moral support. Three seconds off. No. Oh. Almost. Okay, you ready? Good? Wait, wait, wait. Do you need water? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Kitten. Ready? Okay. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Did the tattoo hurt? Not as much as I oh thought God, it on. would hurt. It was, it's my first tattoo, so um, it was more like scratching irritation, if that makes sense. And right oh, now it's him. just it's just itchy. Oh, you gotta, you're not gonna make it. Do you want me to rage reset? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty two is not high enough. I've, I've pulled it off. But ready? Kitten is all over me. No, I know, I'm not he's ready. He's so happy. He wants food. Ready? 
Okay, yep. I know, sweetheart. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. But it did take three hours, so it wasn't short. Yeah, sweetie. Yeah. Come on. You've got to get that pattern down. Will this be the start of a full sleeve? No, but uh, you should talk to Aralyn the next time he comes, because he's been actively working on his tattoos. So, um, Quite happy with the one. I just want it to heal up right now. <gasps> yeah! Pattern! Oh, my arms. That's a lot of small <laughs> movements. Like, like tiny, tiny. Yeah. How do you find that joystick? That's probably pretty... It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's good for this. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good my job. goodness. Yeah. That, that's definitely worth the patch. I think Get it in hour. a minute. Yeah, knock I out, agree. I agree. Knock out in less than a, a minute yeah. or with a minute remaining. Yeah. So I'm going to suggest that to them. I think an hour is very good. That's that's that seems a good. I uh, sorry, a minute, an hour. Yay! A minute, Here's a my, minute. Take my photo. Yay! Look like a big. <laughs> With my big circle of air on there. Nice. <laughs> Yay! So that was good. Good. I like. It's better when it's a challenge where it's like you can't get it right away. Hi, right, come on up. Come back up. Kitty. Oh, he's eating something off the floor. Of course he is. Likely his own fur. Come on. Come here. Come on. More cuddles now. Come of here. course, now he doesn't want to cuddle. We're not playing. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, should be another master kale. Master kale, kale yeah. Yeah. I do, no, I think the minute is a very good one. Yeah. Knock out in a minute, yeah. Like, I was able to practice enough in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. But it wasn't an hour. it wasn't necessarily easy either. So no, it was it was challenging. You had to figure out the pattern. You had mm. to understand the game, and really, that's what the patches usually are. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to understand the trick of the game to to get it. Mm. Um, so yeah, those patches are for sale. Um, Arena Foot pasted the link there. If you search in the Atari Age forums for boxing patch, it does come up. Mm -hmm. Um, this is, you have to look over there. Oh my it's God. doing, it's doing crazy Maybe stuff. Connect to a different Wi-Fi or something. Oh, is the Wi-Fi? Maybe. Uh, He's strong though. He's such a good boy, yes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Renafoot, for, um, linking the Atari Age link again. So, today, yeah, we played Rally Racer, mm. which was a ton of fun, um, which was a very extensive game with multiple levels and different screens and a huge story that goes along with it. He wants he's hungry and he wants attention. Doing? Fluff. It's like having a small child. Come here. And that's why you throw up all the time. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh he's get it. Get it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh he's angry now. Oh he's all claws. <laughs> Let him go. He's dangerous. Are you gonna go? Go ahead. There you go. Can't manhandle the cat. No. Um, and great packaging, interesting cartridge mm. with turning off and back on for the next day. It's like you go to sleep mm -hmm. and you wake up for rally racing the next day. It's still being weird. I'm so sorry. The chat, the chat on the, on the computer. Them. No, but. Uh, yeah. It says welcome to the chat room. You're connected. I'm pff, sort of. Um, good show today. Thank you very much, Dan ABC. Yes. Then we played the little edge one in Greece, which we won as well. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed that. That's it's sim it's simple really, mechanism. Really nicely balanced game mechanics. Yeah. yeah. So it has challenge, but it's very simple. Yeah. Looks simple, but it's not. It's it's quite difficult to maneuver and understand yeah. the way the game moves. Because it's interesting. Because as you're jumping, you always go to the top. So every time you hit up with the joystick, you're all the going the all top. the way to the top and down. So you have to, it's it's all in the timing. And then you control your descent yeah. down. 
I like that. I like that. Yeah. Uh, then we played Raster Fan Dung, which was a crazy puzzle game. It's very challenging. Mm. Get your brain working in a different way. Mm -hmm. You did very well on it. And uh, it's oh, good. I like those games. Those it's, are my favorite. Anything with a puzzle. Yeah. 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 And it's great for multiple pe people. Even if they're not on the joystick, then go, oh, down, left. It's over there. Oh, Get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can play two players as, as well. Mm -hmm. um, Breakanoid, really nice spin on the breakout Arkanoid type game where you control the ball. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a fun, fun game. And boxing, obviously another classic by Activision. Very classic. Game. Very, very fun game. Mm -hmm. um, and there's patches for it now, so you can uh, earn those. Was Thomas here for the puzzle game? No, he wasn't here today. Thomas is in Europe, and he's only able to come to the early shows because it's like four in the morning now in mm, Europe. Yeah. Doesn't work well with Europeans. Yeah. So Unfortunately, is, yeah, but when I'm when I'm working and I you'll have You'll never to... see Thomas again. No, no. <laughs> well, it was nice when we were doing Sundays. Yeah. yeah. Sundays were nice for that because we could do Can it right in the morning. close that? I can't read all of it. This? Yeah, I can't read the right-hand side. Just click. Thank you. Uh, Arena Foot, I have a big update on my comprehensive homebrew list today, too. A lot of them uh, from the early years, hacks to it, uh, pre-2002 hacks added to the patch tab to the document, too. So, yeah, you can find out about homebrew patches like this one mm -hmm. and uh, earn all your homebrew patches, of which I have several, but I need to earn more of them. Some of them are really hard, like Astronomer. Mm. It's so hard. I don't know how you get that. And there's a, <laughs> there's a random element to it, and that's yes. what makes it really hard. But Even if you do your best, you still can't get it. Games like that, that's why they're really hard, because you have to be perfect, and on top of that, you know, yeah. the fates have to align yes. for you to get the game where you can get the high score. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Tim of Legend, for following. Yes. Um... We watch speed runs, or I watch speed runs sometimes, and they mention that a lot, mm. where some of the games have some random element to them, mm. and and sometimes there's multiple random elements, yeah. and they're like, oh, I got four out of the six timings right, so I was able to get this score, yeah. and I got, oh, I got zero out of them, and I just had to reset. They can't get a world yeah. record speed run if they get unlucky. I love so who's who's the gamer that we watch a fair amount with a cowboy hat? Do I'm not you subscribed his name? to him. No, but but you no. watch his when he once in a while when he posts his personal best his ones. His personal best, yeah. Yeah, he hums along to the, to the music to the to <laughs> the, music the games. In the game. But I always think when I I see people who play he plays you know Mario and 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 various games. How many? A lot of NES games. Like I think they have the the count of how many times they play it oh on stream. And it's, it's mind-blowing how many times they're playing. Hundreds or thousands. Yeah. And the top ones play it tens of thousands of times. It's insane. It's insane. But they do reset. Like It's like, I'm not going to make it. Reset. They do a rage that reset, does right? Yeah. yeah. But but still, <laughs> it just blows my mind how much they have to keep replaying those games to get to the point that they can they can win world records. and, and Oh, and yeah. It's insane. You have to play it more than yeah. the next person's playing it. Yeah. And be better it's, than it's them amazing. at the same time. I, I'm just, I'm just very impressed watching, watching the dedication <laughs> people have. So. Uh, Rinafa, do you think you have all the 2,600 homebrews posted in Atari Age? Collecting all the hacks seems like it would require superhuman achievement. <laughs> you should see his list. It's wow. incredible. He does have lists where he says, "I'm not done this part yet," wow. but he knows where to go to. Like he has lists of lists that aren't added in y wow. yet. But he's yeah. got like most of them. I have all the posted in the Atari Age forums under homebrew. So he's finished sections. Okay. And he's like, when he has time, he goes t through a different section. Mm. Like there's old lists he's found, like um, the big, what is it, the big list or something. Bef uh, before the Atari Age opened up, they were chatting on a, all the developers were chatting on an email list. Oh, yeah. And so there's that list you have to go through. It's like pre-2002 list. Mm -hmm. And then there's people who don't post in the Atari Age forums. Uh, Miss Command just subscribed. Yay, thank, thank you, you. Miss Command. Actually, that should show up. Shouldn't it? Show up, sir. Um, how many months she subscribed for? Oh, there we go. Two months. Thank Yay. you so much for subscribing again. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, connecting to chat. <laughs> this one is staying steady. Yeah. 
Uh, and the work in progress. Yeah, he even, he even keeps track of works in progress, too. And he keeps when they started developing it right up to the end. So I usually have a time span, mm. 2007 to 2009 or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it does make it hard to sort. Mm -hmm. But that would take another effort to say, put a start column and an end column so you could sort them by year, but uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Great show today, Yay. James and Ten. Big list, that's what I was trying to remember. Yeah. Uh, the Stella big list, Metal Lunar Earth 7. Thank you so much. Yeah. You can beat Super Mario 1 under five minutes. You can probably play it 10,000 times in two months. It's true. And it depends what type of speed run you're going for. Yeah. Because pe people are now sp speed running the 7800 version of night guy in low res world castle days <laughs> the new homebrew really yeah because they're speed running that yeah wow because it's one of those games that lends itself to speed running yeah because you can like avoid things quickly and take shortcuts mm. and stuff yeah thank you mr fix uh it's always good to see the most amount of cats possible that's true yeah you know when you see two cats that adds to the excellence <laughs> of the show yes. so you're very true on that on yeah. that point yeah uh, I, he has demos, works in progress, hacks, etc., nice. and, and homebrews nice. as well. So it's very comprehensive. It's like everything 2600 past the cutoff of, because that's well documented, everything before homebrews. Oh, my nose is itchy. I'm going to sneeze. I'll try not to. <laughs> it's the cat. Blame the cat. Cat dander. Cat dander. So let's check what's coming up on zero page homebrew. And we did not drop. Oh, we dropped 394 frames, which what? didn't affect it too much. I dropped it from 3 megabits a second to 1 megabit sec a second. That's what you're streaming out? Yeah, because uh, there's connection issues right look now. Look at this, another cat. Hi, another what cat. Is going? They're so loving today. Now that I have the chat up, I can post the cat. Yeah. Let's post that cat. Post, post that cat. Squish oh, that cat. why is it do twice? Oh, no, I can't remember. Oh, well, you get two of them. You get two cats. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So, on the next episode, we're going to be playing Mental Combat, made by the same person who did, did Raster Fan and Dung this episode. And we'll be doing going for a 100% playthrough on Blinky Goes Up. Mm. It's very achievable. And then I'll find one to two more games. I really only need one because we're doing a 100% playthrough, which sometimes does take a take little a while. Take a little while, yeah. Cats right. aplenty. Yes, so many cats. And then we're also going to be talking with Daryl Spice Jr. in <gasps> two-ish weeks. Oh, nice. And the developer Spotlight. Um, so you definitely want to get your questions in uh, for that. Do I have a link to that? Ugh, I don't. Let me... Post the link. For the, so that, oh, for the questions. For the questions, because yeah. we want as many uh, questions from the crowd mm -hmm. as possible. Um, so that's it's your time to get it in. Oh, here we go. Getting it. Getting it. There we go. I'm going to post this in the chat. Love the spotlights. Well, thank you very much. They are lots of fun, and we get to... Um, talk with people in depth mm. uh, and you'll be here for it I think so, uh, I yeah. think in, in two weeks because next week will be um, the two dudes and yep. then uh, I'll be the week after so I think Is it's on a week? Friday yeah. that you're doing it yeah, so I think, I think I'm think i here so that's exciting, that's cool. yeah, that's true Yeah, it's yeah. The net, not this and usually you talk and I get to play games the whole time yes. so I'm very excited about that <laughs> it's a very it's, it's, different yeah it's switch. a different dynamic and I just get to play and I don't feel any stress so it's, yeah. it's good yeah and uh, Rainy Foot says Spiceware had a foreword in volume two of his uh, homebrew books good stuff yeah. yeah um so I'm looking forward to that uh, I've got a good list of his games mm. that we'll be playing and taking a look at and there's going to be a nice surprise during the show Maybe a, a new release <laughs> or an update or something. We will see. Um, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, it's a good time to put things like that out while everybody's uh, mm. watching and, and listening to you. Mm. Get the coffee ready. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Might be long. He has a lot of good games to talk yes. about. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> um, so we'll be back on Friday mm -hmm. um, for more Zero Page Homebrew. Yay. 
And uh, so thanks for hanging out, everyone. Mm -hmm. Timmy done? Oh, no, it's not Timmy. I wish it was. No more no more questions. <laughs> not going to give you any more hints. <laughs> it's not Timmy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was going to save that for something else. Mm. Anyway. Uh, thank you for hanging out, Captain Classic, Arena Foot, Miss Command, Mr. Fix, Dan AVC, Cafe Man 2D, Metal Lunar, The D Train. Uh, Metal Atari. Metal Atari. Oh, any other names? They're probably way back here. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing. We're going to make it back to all the Brazilians. Yeah. Pack Rat VG. Muse. Oh, oh McMuse dropped in it. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. No, Very nice. There. Oh, Pac didn't make it back. In there. Oh, that's Scrolled okay. off the screen. Yeah, Fingers that's crossed. Right. Timmy Jumpman looks good. Yeah, <laughs> Timmy looks like a fun, fun game. Um, yeah, we'll be back same time on Friday mm -hmm. with some more homebrew Yay. goodness. And so thanks for hanging out and yeah. we will see you then. Bye everyone. Bye.